Okay, hello and welcome back, everyone. Hello and welcome back. How are you all doing today? How's it going, Balinar? How are you? Hello, hello. Let's jump right back on in. We have a vote that's going on to replace this game, since we are darn near the end of it. We got that vote up and running today. But hopefully everyone's doing well. Oh my goodness, I forgot. Our crew are pissed. <laughs> Alright, we we're going to do some stuff, split the loot, and get up and out of here. Alright, so the Spanish still hate us. I don't remember if this actually disappears if we split up the loot. I'm tempted to find out if that actually deals with the with the loot issue. Um, where was this? If this is nearby, we should do this real quick. I feel like it's not, though. Blade Rock. Where is this? Where, where are you? You're on, like, the far side, right? Oh no, it's way up here. Okay, right, yeah, we can we can do that. Oh, we won't do that right now. I think we're just gonna go and split the loot. The hard part is we're old now. We're we're 36 years old, our crew isn't happy, we're in poor health. So we're going to have to just drastically change our battle plans. Even though we've got the Inca uh Mystic Salve to help prolong our life, we're 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 getting to the point where we're gonna have to retire. Like, urgently. <laughs> we gotta retire, like, urgently now. Yeah, Veracruz is where we need to go. The last pirate ship, uh, pirate map we need to go over here. So that treasure, uh, which is on the far side, it's not too bad. Uh, we've done pretty good work over here in Barbados to get ourselves a lady love. We're at uh, 6 of 10. Um, but really, it's just gain wealth, finish off getting a position in the Spanish fleet, Get the last pirate treasure, which we just need to go over and grab. And then Lost Cities, which is just going to be essentially bribing ladies with, <laughs> with shiny things to go and get the information we're looking for after doing some dances. So I think we're going to... How many troops do we have? We have 150? Oh my goodness, why did we grab so many guys? I think we're going to go and divide the loot now. We have 265,000. 265,000. So I think it's pretty good. Find a large frigate, focus on gunnery. I think that's what we're going to do, Dalka. I think that's the plan. We're going to have to switch over from uh, melee combat to... Um... Dude, wait a second. What is this? It's a brigantine. Um, real quick. Brigantines. Are there, is that something we can just do a quick upgrade to, or is that a side grade? Do a brigantine. I think it's a side grade. I don't think it's a, a true upgrade, right? Medium guns twenty. Okay, yeah, it's not not any better. It's a it's a, it's a downgrade because it's a medium. Okay, nope. But yeah, so let's go ahead and I guess we're just gonna be splitting up the loot. I'm worried about our guys mutinying, unless we think it's entirely possible we could go get this last bit of treasure before they mutiny. Should we? Hmm. It's possible we could go and get this before the last bit of mutiny occurs, because... Where this is, is not too far out for us. Because the wind will be at our back as we sail over here. Where, where is it? Up, up here, right? Where? Wait, what? How can I never find this? Where? Okay. Oh, it's it's because it's Spanish. Now I, I for some reason just assumed it was gonna be French. Oh my goodness, it's not even like. No wonder I don't remember it. It's not actually on. It doesn't have a port. It's inland. Okay. That explains it. Right, so it's inland. It's nearby. The way that it's like set up with this water in between, I'm not too sure exactly where. Santa Juliana is over there. So actually, if Santa Juliana is over there, that's probably where we need to pay more attention to than anything else. All right, so Santa Juliana. Okay, so yeah. So it's right here is where we need to go. We could get there, but then getting back is going to be such a pain. 
I think we're going to have to go and we, we could go there and then go to Port Royale and then take a break in Port Royale, but I think we're going to go and split up here. Uh, first things first, let's go get these pirates here before they go and they raid the city, because they're going after Barbados. Let's go nab these guys real quick before they take Barbados. Our Lady Love is over there, that we're currently trying to woo. So let's, let's ensure that she's going to be fine. And besides, we're going to be retiring there for, like, six months or something. So let's make sure we go knock them down real quick. Alright, let's use this thing. He's got a cutlass. We got him. No problem. No problem, no problem. Our old age is not going to... Our old 36-year-old age is not going to be messing with us here. He's playing with the cutlass. He stands no chance. Thank goodness. Yeah, we're gonna need to go and get, uh, I think, a large frigate or a uh, anything anything with the of war uh, name on it. What we'll go for. Let's go ahead, and I think we actually sell off like significantly more food than that. So let's actually sell off as much as we can, get as much gold in our pocket as we can here. Uh, of course, we'll do upgrades so it gives us more money. Oh. Uh, we'll go to the tavern. Do you have anything for me? Ah, just stuff about Maracaba, which you don't care too much. My good gracious, it's 44 on luxuries. Jeez. That's actually quite a lot. That's insane. Uh, Governor, got anything last minute for me before I quit? Oh my goodness, what is this? Am I just close? Oh, go for a ball? Sure. You know what? We, we can take our lady to the ball real quick. Might be able to grab some more information here first. Do a quick dance. And then, uh, then we'll be around for like six months, so I guess I can go to a handful of Grand Balls, yeah? Okay, we need to start getting some uh, spins on there. I figured out what the... Uh... My goodness, I, I figured out what the trick was yesterday, but now I'm like... Okay, there we go. <laughs> now I'm not getting any spins in. What's going on here? Come on. Alright, I just have to focus. Now we're back onto the infinite sp okay, almost. I'm too cocky too soon. Get back into the infinite spins here. Oh my goodness, so many spins. It's also an easy song. Back into the spins here. Okay. Back we go. Need to get more spins in here. Come on now. Whoa. It's not the direction I was expecting. Oh, it's not the direction I was expecting. Now we fumbled a little bit there at the end. We at least got a spin at the end there. I don't know if we're going to get a twirl from her because of that big old stumble. Yeah, no. A little too fast. Alright, excellent. More info. Exactly what we're looking for. Okay, perfect. We can find it from here. So we've got uh, we've got Shark Shallows and we've got Vera Cruz. So we know how to get there. We can get that done. Uh, Brig of War is the next heaviest top level ship worth considering. The heaviest would be the Ship of the Line. Yeah, they're super rare. The large frigate is almost just as good. Galleons are probably too slow to be worth flagging. Yeah, I don't think we should go for a galleon. They're going to take too long. All right, let's go ahead and divide the plunder. Okay, perfect. So this gives everyone gets a small fortune, 1,449, and we get a sizable chunk of 20%. Oh my goodness, that's right, because it was 5% on easy mode, 10% on medium mode, 20% on hard mode. Oh my good gracious. Yeah, now let's uh let's do that. Split her up. Now, do we want to advance to even higher difficulty? Yeah, of course, why would we not? Why 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 would we not make life harder on us? We be kidding me. Come on. Oh my goodness, are we are we out for a year? How long we how long are we down? Oh my goodness. Alright, status. We are 37 years old. We got a crew of 40. They're very happy. We are in horrifically poor health. We are, we are uh, struggling. That's for sure. 
Okay. Uh, all right, excellent. So that knocked our wealth status up from 17 to 20. Um, and our romance is now at 7. And we've gotten this up to 11. Perfect. Yeah, that's good. That's good. But yeah, now that we're playing on rogue difficulty, which I don't know if rogue is the highest difficulty level. It, it either is or is next to the highest difficulty setting. We're close to the, the swashbuckler is. Okay, so we are second to highest difficulty setting now. So we're going to have to watch ourselves. We're definitely going to have to go to big ships and just destroy stuff. I worked the Spanish, the French, and the Dutch. Excellent, we love that. Oh, what is this? Oh, Duke Salvador, I am so glad you're here. My daughter's been kidnapped! <gasps> oh, jeez. Oh, my goodness, we have to go to Veracruz? Well, perfect, we gotta go to Veracruz anyway. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll get on that, like, immediately. Yeah. I'll get immediately on that. That is gonna be an absolutely horrific fight, by the way. That fight's gonna suck so much. Now that we're playing on a significantly higher difficulty, we have to play with the rapier, and we're gonna have to put all of our focus in. Full focus. Stuff about Maracaba, it's fine, it's not a big deal. Now we need to go to an actual port to get more boys. Dealing with only 40 is fine, but like we just can't do any combat. Uh, we're gonna go and actually, are any of these guys nearby? Both of you were up there. Your way up there. Okay, you're over here. Here we go. Let's see if we can get uh, Conley. Get some extra cash. So like all up there. This is the guy we need to go for. Mendoza, Colonel Mendoza, near Vera Cruz. And actually, uh, he's up there too. Uh, so who? Where were you? Oh, not you. Where's the guy who's nearby? You're in San Juan. In Guadalupe. All right, let's go to Guadalupe. Actually, who are the Spanish at war with real quick here? Everyone. Oh, I love it. It's the best. That means we can just go ahead and hit anyone and get the Spanish to hate us less. Perfect. We love that. All right. Uh, tavern. Let's go get 61 boys. Get in here. We need you. Oh, perfect. Info about Veracruz. Okay, so... Nothing too important here. Spice, if we have some spice, we can sell off there. All right. You will answer to me. And we're going to use a rapier because it's going to be some tough combat here. Or not. Because he's playing with the cutlass. He is in still incredibly slow. Thank goodness. Yeah, he's, he's incredibly slow. <laughs> Even his thrusts. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. The cutlass is just so bad. It's just not well balanced at all. Okay, 3k. That's good. We'll take that. Uh, guns food. I think we're fine for right now. We should be pirating stuff on our way out. Ideally. French Raiders. We want to keep an eye out for something we can take. This is a frigate. Is it a large frigate or a normal frigate? This English frigate here. Looks like it's just a normal frigate. I don't know if a normal frigate's worth it. Is a normal frigate worth it? Normal frigate. Large, wide, warship, 200 crew, 32 guns, speeds fast. This could be worth taking. It's got a wide turn radius versus our sharp one, but that's fine. It might be worth going and taking this frigate to start with and just start building them up. Hmm. Since this is a fast speed, we can we can use it. Because uh, right now we have a, a royal sloop, which is also a fast speed. It's just small and tight. That's the only difference. But I think we're gonna go we're gonna go try and grab this. Let's see if we can take this. And again, taking out something with the uh, English is going to make the Spanish happy. The thing that's tough is that uh, we're gonna need to get some serious upgrades. You could tr keep driving the sloop and focus on your dodging ability. Uh, we could. The hard part is if we get caught, we're, we're kind of hosed. I think we're gonna, we can just have this guy towed behind us in the meantime. We can swap to him when it's necessary. 
We can also get a much, much bigger crew right now, because we are at the beginning of our new adventure. We've only been on the seas for like a month. So we can just fully crew both of them right for the moment. So we can kind of swap between them depending on what we need. There we go. Wait, it had a surrender flag. What? You put a surrender flag up. Alright, uh-oh, rapier. Oh, jeez, okay. See how this goes. Okay, so we, we still are okay. We're not in too much trouble with this guy, at least. He's about our speed. Doesn't quite outspeed us. Alright, we'll take everything here. In the same kits, we need to go grab ourselves some more boys. 86. Get aboard. We got in Gibraltar. Gibraltar is Spanish again. Okay, all right, that's good to know. The economy stinks around here. I know, we can't attack the Spanish. Now, if we check status, Spanish actually hate us significantly less. It's good. I like seeing that. I'll offload some guns. Was it 32 for the frigate? Just in case we want to play with the frigate. It's down to like eight months. And then just make sure we get all the upgrades on all of our ships whenever we can. Okay, uh, none of these other guys were nearby, right? Other than the one for San Juan. Here we're in Veracruz. Let's go to San Juan next. So we're gonna go all the way up and then down. We're gonna go all the way up, following the the island chain here, and then we'll go straight down to Veracruz. It's wild seeing us only at twenty-two thousand coin. We're missing a zero. An English raider here for you. A trader, a brig. Oh, don't hit San Juan right now. What kind of brig is this, by the way? Just a normal brig. Okay. We still have enough troops that I think we're okay. Continuing with the sloop for right now. Okay, clipped up. Just barely clipped us. Oh, that was quite painful. Oh, jeez, okay. We need to get better at our, our maneuvering here. Right, yeah, coming close. Okay, too close. Too close. Alright, we got it. The Dutchman's got no chance. Okay, maybe he does. Go for a chop. Good. Slash. There we go. Yeah, so we just got a, a standard nothing special brig. Okay. Hey, don't shoot me. Oh, wait, don't shoot me. Okay, well, we can't do anything in San Juan right now. Uh, let's go ahead and hit up the English sloop. Oof, that's close. Oh. I do it. Fire away. Couple guns off. See if we can. Oh my good gracious! They absolutely just tattered the ship. All right, it's done. Easy. All right, a sloop of war. All right, do you? Do, what, what's our status now with you? Okay, come on. We're only we're only five k off, guys. Let me land. <laughs> Let me, let me land. All right, fine. We can't get that guy. That's okay. We'll just continue on then. We'll just continue on. Wait for me. Uh, its sails will get fixed up at some point. The Super War. Spanish ship. Can't attack Spanish ships. We almost have them liking us again. Once that occurs, then we can finally start working on our, our promotions. Come on, wind. Give us a boost. Give us a boost. Alright, so actually we need to go down here for 
another guy if we want to go grab him. Since Domingo is on the south side, which might be nice to go see as well. Let's go to the Port of Freedom and see if we can sell a ship or two here. We don't need this many. Pick up a couple extra boys. Santa Domingo we won't be able to land at, but I'm hoping that there'll be someone else trying to like attack him or something else. We can save him. Super War Grig Frigate. I don't know which one we're gonna try and keep. Man, we sell it for nothing here. It's just not worth selling it here. We need the coin. Oh my goodness. Cannon's worth nothing. Alright, fine. We'll just grab some guys and get out of here. Welcome aboard, boys. Oh, and Caracas. Caracas. Can get grape shot down there. Gonna sell anything stairs. Oh, there's one. Mendoza has the lightning quick thrust. That's not good. It was a dangerous one. Okay. Come on, winds. Give us a push. Here we go. A new warship. What is this? Ah, oh, it's a super war. Darn. We'll get this French Super War. Still did connect. There we go. Oh, that was painful. Oh, come on. We just gotta run into him. We're starting to smoke. Let's get in here before we take too much damage. Okay. Longsword, which should be okay. I'm just very wary about sword combat now that we're getting old. Okay. Not too bad. Just go for a chop. Okay. We're still holding on all right. Sleep of War. All right. With this Sleep of War, where are we at? 3k left. Okay. Like two more ships. We're good to go. Central Domingo, you okay for coming and say hi? We, you, we only owe you 3,000. There's only 3,000. Oh my goodness, okay. They're shooting cannons at us. Spanish Raider. Alright, fine. We'll keep on floating along. Luckily, we should have the Spanish happy with us by the time we get all the way down to Veracruz, so we can at least land there. That'll be good. How's it going, 10 TNT? How are you doing today? Where are the silly dances? Oh, you missed a couple of them, but there will be more silly dances. Because we're going to have to start bribing the ladies with uh, with dances and jewelry. So we can get more information on the lost cities. So we can go ahead and plunder for gold. There will still be silly dances. Let's get over here into Petrograd, and then we'll spin around. Oh my goodness, jeez, that guy came out <laughs> crazy fast. Uh, then we'll jump over here to... I don't know how you pronounce that. Leo Gain. What is this? Bound for Petit Grave. Okay. Merchant. Uh, you'll take some guns. Perfect. I've got way too many. It's like, we'll keep 32. You'll okay. take some food, too. And drop off on some of those. Hey, 10 TNT. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Good to have you here. Go ahead and grab a couple more boys. 63, get on board. Yes, we talk. Uh, let's see. Copper plating. Luxury is nothing special here. Yeah, we, we can't hit. We can't, Wait. What? It was a Dutch ship. Oh, we take, we'll take a look see if we can go grab that Dutch ship. I thought it was a, a Spanish ship. Can't hit up Spanish ships. Still a no-go. Right, we got two sloops of war. This one has less upgrades, so we'll sell that guy. Governor? Probably unhappy with this. Or with the Spanish and the English, a piece of the Dutch. Oh my good gracious, he gave us a thousand acres for taking. Oh my good gracious. Hey, I'll take it. Why not? A thousand acres? Goodness. We could bribe her. But we don't need to. We know where to go to get the to get to the the location. This will save us money if we don't bribe her to get more info. We're gonna say no. We're gonna say no. How's it going, Rob, man? How are you doing today? A captain's log? We can do a captain's log. 
Let's go first sort out this pirate here. You know, Barkentine? Brigantine? Ah, we can make normal, it's fine. Let them sort it out. Bam. Oh, they actually plundered. Amazing. We could go around. I just don't want to spend the time going around like that. Well, we kind of need to if we're going to go up this way. If we can get the wind to cooperate with us, we'll check it out. Oh my goodness, if we can get the wind to cooperate, cooperate with us. Come on! I believe. I believe! Let's attack in here. I don't want to hit up the French before we go into, like, a French-only port. Uh, oh, come on. Oh, this wind direction is brutal. Here we go. Oh, come on. Please! That's <laughs> why. This is, like, the only way here. Even if we go in that way, we're going to run into the same problem. Come on, wind. Might have been better for us to just anchor here and walk across, to be honest. I think next time that's what we're going to do. We're just going to anchor and walk across. Plating upgrades. They're all free, so might as well. Um, drop off some food. We don't need that much. Six months is probably five months is fine. That's good. Tavern. Grab another 51 boys. Crusher's pretty good here. Fine powder. Attractive daughter. Okay. Mm. Uh, we're going to go ahead and teach this knave a lesson. So we can go ahead and hire another 10, 10 or so guys. I think it's 25 at these ports. It's 10 or 25. Longsword? I think we got him. No, big dodges. Oh, hello. Alright, there we go. Get on the first floor. Come on now. Yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll do a captain's log as soon as we're moving due south west to uh, Veracruz. Big jumps, stabs, slashes, big jumps, chops, oh, slashes, no, okay, slashes, a slash is faster than your slash, man, those dodges are brutal, jump, we'll do our own slash, there we go, got with the thrust, all right, getting a little harder, getting kind of old, okay, only 10 boys, come on board. What you got? Alright, let's go ahead and let's fight this guy. And get ourselves a little bit of extra money. I said a cup, so got him. In the bag, no problem. Cutlasses are way too slow. They don't stand a chance against our swift sword. He's still got some good dodges, but. <laughs> I'll go for a chop then. Tried three times in a row there. All right, 3k for bringing him to justice. Good, good. Uh, we're not going to talk to the governor because uh, we've been attacking French ships of late. I'm sure he's not going to be happy with us. All right. Uh, was there anything else we want? Oh, yeah, that's right. We wanted to go north here. We get the last treasure chest before we go head and south. It's the last thing before we head south. We do need to start hitting up more French ships, though. Oh, you can't tower. Oh my goodness, you're, you're damaged. What happened? Sleep of War is all battered and beaten up. Oh wait, they've already surrendered? They got a white flag up. Okay, that's easy. They're limping home and we show up and we're like, hey, give me your stuff. And they're like, you know what? That's fine. Just don't... Don't worry about it. We don't need to fight or anything. It's fine. Okay, so what's that put us at now? 1,000 coin off from having them no longer being directly hostile to us. We won't have a price on our head if we go hit up one more French uh, ship. And we can finally go and sit down at Spanish ports. Thank goodness, because that's going to be crucial for us here. All right, we have to get all the way up here to Santa Juana. Come on, wind. Goodness. Wind is going due southwest. Wild. Really wants us to get over to Veracruz, huh? But yeah, as soon as we're moving to Veracruz, we'll get that captain's log going. Because it's going to be nothing but open sea for like a minute, maybe even two. 
gravel. We need something rock up here. I don't remember. Or knife. Nothing. We'll, we'll see the we'll see the landmark here pretty soon. Seven months of food. That's enough to get to Veracruz. We don't need to stop for any provisions. I am tempted to just sell off the ships we have right now as soon as we can. We don't need to carry them. We're mostly carrying them for all the food that we have on hand. And all the troops, of course. Blade Rock. How do we get in here? I guess we have to go up and around. Can we, can we sneak through this? Because we, like, directly counter the wind. We can. Okay. Come on. I'm caught. Let me through. There we go. Okay. Alright, right here. We're gonna anchor here. Let's go take a look at this. Alright, so there's a geyser. We just need to keep going down the uh, down the coast here. Right. Buildings. I think I'm a little far north, so I think we do need to keep going southish for a bit. So once we get here, where are we going from here? There's that temple. It's that temple, so we should be this way. Um, unless we've gone too far. Definitely gone too far. Leave town, enter town. You know, leave town. We don't need to be here. Okay. So we went too far. Oh, wait, there's a the headstone. Oh, hold on a second. There's the head. It should be like right here, yeah? There's our ship. Hey, where's the treasure? Wait a second. There's the geyser. There's our ship. I must have, like, gone right past it. Oh, it's right there. Yeah, I did go right past it. <laughs> I missed it. All right, this is the last treasure. What did we get? Last treasure of any notorious pirate other than us. Oh my goodness, look at our face. We are getting old. We're an ancient 37-year-old man. 6,000 pieces. All right, perfect. Let's head out of here. Yeah, we're turning into a real old man now. Here's green, too. Oh, I missed that. I didn't even see. Yeah, so this is essentially going to be our last trip here. We're, like, we're, we're getting down to the very last, last dregs of our adventure. We'll, we'll adventure as long as we can, of course, but we're getting down to the last bit here. Here's your galleons. Alright. Let's go land in... Actually, can I land in Havana? Or are they still angry at me? They're still angry at me. I need to go hit up something that isn't... Spanish. Before you take this town for your own, can you... Can, Florida Creek Keys pop out a quick, uh, quick shift for me. Let's go and land. Nope, land before them. Quickly. Quickly, we need to... We're just going to offload everything here. Let's just sell off our, our ships and the like that we have and our crew. Let's just get rid of them. Yes. Oh, what about Havana? Spices are 43. Whoa. Yeah, now we can't go after anything there. Um, let's see. Wait, he's headed for Havana? Colonel Mendoza's on his way over here right now. Perfect, okay. Works for me. Uh, shipwrights. Alright, we're gonna sell some of these off. And by some, I mean... Sell all of them off. All right, bye, Florida Keys. <laughs> Gone. Now the Spanishes. 
Oh, can Mendoza, there he is. Ah, uh, we can't land them, but uh, we can go fight Mendoza. No idea how many troops he has. Actually, he's got less than us. He's in a fast galleon, he's got significantly less. We might actually keep the fast galleon, to be honest. Oh, that was a big whiff on our part, that's bad. Let's just go land at him. I think we can take him. I hope we can take him. All right, found Mendoza. Let's go, Mendoza. He's got a cutlass, thank good gracious. He's still get us, though. Oh my goodness, that's right, he's got the lightning fast thrust skill. We have to be very careful with his thrusts. We have more troops in him, so we can just outlast the fight. So if we take forever on the fight, we'll still win. Okay, got him. In okay, worst case scenario, we could just stall. Hey, right, Master Swordsman, sir, the uh, governor's daughter is being held hostage in the forecast. Bam! Oh dear, oh dear Duke Zelda, I dreamt every night that you would come rescue me. Let us return to my father uh, and Barbados and speak of our future together. But of course. Alright, the Fast Galleon's a good one, yeah? The 1x1 combat reminds you of Prince of Persia from the 80s. I don't think I played that game. Banish Hunter, no! No, don't attack me! Stop with the cannonballs! Jeez, you're gonna break up the- Stop it! <laughs> totally unfair. I can't shoot cannonballs out in the open like you can. Totally unfair. All right, we need to go to Veracruz. But we now have a fast galleon with all of the upgrades because it was a it was a boss person's thing. So the fast galleon, how good is that compared to the sloop we're playing with? Not a flag galleon. Fast galleon. Fast galleon speed slow large. Okay, it's it's a big guy, but he's too slow for us. He might be fast, but he's just, the guns are only four extra guns, cargo space is only an extra 20, crew size is, it's a sizable increase, but it's not that good. A flag galleon would be way more up my alley, 40. A war galleon? Yeah, a flag galleon, if we could. It was a DOS game? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Ye old DOS games. I got a lot of food. It's really the only thing. We actually can't sell anything here, can we? Nope. We could get some repairs if we wanted, but I don't really want to pay anything if we can help it. Just grab some spare buoys. Why not? Alright, uh, it's not helpful, and... Okay, ask about his parrot. Okay. He's left, because when you landed. Alright, so now, we go to the lost city down here at Veracruz, near Shark Shallows. Let's go ahead and set a heading. Get on over there. Uh, we almost whiffed our heading. <laughs> get past the Yucatan Canal here. Channel. All right, off we go. All right, thanks for waiting there, Rob man. Oh, can't uh, take my hands off the, off the wheel quite yet. Jeez. All right, Captain's Log, January twenty eighth, sixteen eighty. Oh my! A brand new warship. Hold on a second. Hold those captain's logs. We got a galleon of some kind. Head to Havana. War... Wait, did I say a war galleon? Was I just... We were just talking about war galleons. That's a fast galleon. We were just... Wait, hold on a second. Wait. Pa pause all the things. Weren't we just talking about a war galleon would be, like, right up my alley? Was it a war galleon? No, it was a flag galleon. Okay. Like, almost had to, like... Hit the brakes! Quickly! Alright. Um, we're fine. Uh, we've got plenty of food and everything else, so we're good. Alright, where were we? Captain's Log, February 2nd, 1680. We have found ourselves near the end, the twilight of our pirate years. We have wooed the daughter of Barbados. We actually just, in fact, rescued her from Colonel Mendoza, a slimy dog who was her fiancé. We decided that if he could not have her, no one could. 
We are off. We are off to go and acquire a little bit more money from the lost Maya uh, city of Maya, the Mayan city, and we've already picked up all of the treasures that we can. We're down to the very last leg of our adventure. A few more steps of romance, one more city to find after this, and just a little bit more wealth to stack up, with a little more um, medals of honor that we can acquire from the Spanish. Once that's done. We've completed everything there is to do on the high seas in the Spanish main. And with that concluded, it'll be time for us to find a new adventure. So let's go see what we can get done before we age entirely out of our career as a 38-year-old man in very poor health. And log. Let's head on down here. All right. Villa Hermosa. Grab some extra boys while we're down here. Or maybe we can sell actually everything. We can sell everything, that'd be great. But we can sell off guns to 20. We sell off food to 40. We can. Nice. In which case, we'll take a repair. We'll take a repair and a sell. Through the tavern. Oh, perfect. We're actually already maxed out. Dr. Bello is... It's got Chain Shot if we need it. Uh, yeah, you know, we'll back off. We don't need to talk to him. Let's sail out of here. Yeah, we still need to go and hit up some... Anyone, really. Oh, no, just the English and the French. We need to attack the English or the French to start getting the Spanish to like us more. All right, let's go over to Veracruz. At least we have our Lady Love with us in the, uh, in the ship, so it's not like she's waiting for us. Treasure ship. I'd like to go get a treasure ship, but we don't really need to. Doing well enough as is. That Bear Cruise. We make it. Bear Cruise. All right. In the vicinity of Bear Cruise, we're looking for Shark Shallows, which I'm assuming is north of Bear Cruise. A Dutch smuggler. Hold on. Get this Dutch smuggler real quick. It's not who the Spanish are fighting, but this will at least redeem us a little bit in the eyes of the English. I think. Right, the English are at war with the Dutch? Okay, this guy we can't actually catch. Never mind. Right? Yeah, the English are at war with them. So that would help us with, uh, with that, but yeah, they're just gone. Can't catch up. Way too fast. Hey, hey! Hey, stop shooting me, alright? Cindy of Veracruz. Um, doesn't feel like vicinity of. I feel like we're a little too far north right now. Oh, hold on. What's this? What are these? What are these landmarks? Shark Shallows, we found it. All right. Shark Shallows is the north. We land right here. All right. We anchor here. All right, so we're right next. Okay, perfect. We're right next to this temple. So just go straight south. All right, there's the arch. Okay. Oh, there was. I just saw it. Alright, we found it. Lost City Found. Excellent. Five, 50,000 pieces. Holy. Lost City of the Maya. Amazing. Alright, back to the ship. We've got 90k on us now. Alright, now we head back to... I think I think now we just go all the way back to um, Barbados. Oh my goodness, this wind is amazing. Oh my goodness, we are absolutely booking it right now. <laughs> now we're talking. Hey, there's that treasure ship we passed on our way in. <laughs> wow, we went so fast. 
gracious. See, I'm glad we're not playing with, like, slow ships. There's just so much we have to traverse. Okay, so we need to go and attack, what is it, the English and the French? Oh, no, anyone. All right, they're at war with everyone again. Perfect. We can go and fight literally anyone, and Spain will be happy. We like this. This is good. We'll still try and avoid the English if we can, because if we end up getting a bounty on our head, we can't actually go and dock in Barbados. That doesn't quite work. We're going to keep wooing our lady. Ah, you're Spanish. Not helpful. Have you seen any French ships around here, good sir? Ah, there's an English ship. I'm trying to avoid hitting English. French or Dutch? There shouldn't be any Dutch over here. We scoot towards Port Royal, maybe. About two months worth of food. And we're making a ridiculous pace. We are moving so fast. I think we're just gonna. I think we're just gonna keep at it as much as we can, because trying to traverse east in the Caribbean is ah, just such a pain. Yeah, we're in, honestly, we should try and shoot due east at this point now, or else we get stuck down here. Well, let's go up towards Port Royal. The wind is still in our favor for going that direction. Still gets us a little bit more east. Oh? Ah, Spanish. What a bar. Wow, this thing is just shoving us to Port Royal. Look at that. An invasion fleet? Uh-oh. We might have to go and stop that invasion fleet. Where is it going? It's going to Port Royal. We're going to have to go and stop that invasion fleet. Oh my goodness, we're trying to get the we're trying to get the Spanish to like us. But we're going to have to stop that invasion fleet. Wow. That's a lot of guys. Uh, we'll take three of you. Welcome aboard. Uh, Veracruz... We're just over there, nothing new. Uh, we actually don't need any new troops, it's fine. Uh, ship right, nothing. Merchant. Um, we'll grab enough food for two months. Back to the English. You're at war with literally everyone again. Beautiful daughter? Yeah. Well, we. Oh, geez, it's kind of awkward because uh, our wife to be is in the ship right now. But we kind of do need to get more information now. Because uh, we just did the... We just did that... Lost City quest. Yeah. Here you go. Oh my goodness, you shouldn't have... Okay, I'm overwhelmed. Alright, give me some info. Lost City of the Olmec. Where are they? Unknown. Perfect, thank you. Good day. Alright, so now these guys will start trading us uh, another, another trinket. Listen, darling... It, it, oh my goodness, we're going to have to attack these. They're going to, like... We actually don't have to attack the smugglers, but we're going to have to attack this guy. Or else this is going to disappear. I do want to keep Port Royal over here. It's a really nice port to have that isn't Spanish. It's a war galleon! Nice. This thing's absolutely knackered, too. Look at this thing. Got a lot of damage on it. Should we can just take out its... Got sails here. Perfect. Plenty of food. Quick war galleon. Circle back around here. Let's just drop this bad boy off. And then we'll head on down to... Barbados. Yeah, okay. So we just need to get a little more here. We get the wealth and we're done. My goodness, we are... Blasting through this game. Um, not in. So slow. <laughs> Alright, merchants. Okay, good. We can actually sell some guns. And we have some spare. A little extra food. Upgrade and sell so we can get the largest quantity for it. Governor, would you be so kind as to give me some land for stopping that invasion fleet? A hundred acres. I'll take it. Oh, you want me to fight your uh, fiancé? Yeah, I, mean, I, can, I can maybe fight him later, but not right now. This raider? Where are you going? Here? 
Ah. We almost never go to that port. We're day okay with that getting hit. Alright. We want to go more east than south right now. The wind is not in our favor. We can just edge ourselves over there. Also, uh, what's the Spanish opinion of us now? Alright, it's only 2k. It's not that bad. Just two French ships, so like one big French ship. We should be fine. Speaking of French. Speaking of French ships. <laughs> get them! Just gonna go ahead straight through. Don't let him run. Ooh, 35 Luxuries, that's pretty huge. Yeah, what we'll do is we'll just go and uh, essentially bounce from San Juan. Ooh, hello. We'll bounce from San Juan to, like, St. Kitts and um, Guadalupe and the like. A Brig of War. Okay, Dalka, we were talking about a Brig of War, right? A Brig of War is what we would be looking at uh, replacing our sloop with. Is that right? This, this could be the thing. This could be what we change over to. If we can get there without it destroying our ship, of course. Okay. Okay, we are gonna have to fight. We did not lower the numbers as much as I was hoping, unfortunately. Alright. He's got a long sword, we should be okay. Alright, we're fine. He doesn't have any lightning slash of oh, jeez. Block him. Blocks me. Dodge him. Slash him. Drop him. Slash him. Nice. Took a second. Alright, so the bark uh, the brig of war. The brig of war. Alright, let's see here. So if we go and take a look at a brig of war. Medium speed's a little bit slower. What was it we were looking at that was still fast that we liked? The larger shift of its class. Brig is medium, and the Barkin team's medium speed. Brig of War is medium speed, but significantly more crew, significantly more space. Well, 20 more. An extra 12 cannons. I'm gonna hold on to this one. Oh my goodness, it's sadness. How are you doing today? How are you doing? We've been spreading managed democracy. Oh yes, of course. Uh, we've been, um... Very carefully dividing up what nations own what territory here. Absolutely not just deciding to um, go with whatever the winds, wherever the winds take me. Yeah. Nations? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Just um, we we've totally only been deciding who owns what. You know. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I don't want to fight you, I just need to go and land in Curacao. Oh, but sadness, there is a vote that's currently active. Anyone else who's hanging out in here, please don't forget to vote. It's pinned up at the top of the, uh, of the chat here. The link in the About section on Twitch has been updated as well as the link has been posted in Discord. Please make sure to go ahead and do that because uh, it's going to be whatever ends up replacing this game once we finish this guy. Please make sure to go ahead and vote. All right, merchants. I'm gonna just drop off everything we've got here. Now, if we want to swap over, we just need to keep 32 guns, which means we can keep ourselves at what 50 or 48 food. If we wanted to swap. There's a parking team. Yeah, so we could drop that. Hmm. Alright, anyway, to the tavern. Alright, let's go buy a new necklace. Unfortunately, it costs us a lot of money. The problem is we're, we're bribing these ladies to give us information to go get something that's probably going to give us like 50k. But it's costing us like 8k per piece of information. And we need four of them. So... We're down like 32,000 
to get 50,000. They're only netting 18. It's not a lot. Which is why we're going to try and do it as little as we can. Arden Drummond. Drew Darden. Some missionary guys in here. Governor. Go with the Spanish and English. Excellent. We took out an invasion fleet. We did. We did. Uh, we can go ahead and bribe her for some more information as well. Yeah, here you go. Just so happened to find a uh, good old diamond necklace. Information for us. Oh, this is just the worst bit of information you could possibly have given me. We didn't want, like, so she just gave us something to give us $2,000 back. Your 2,000 coins back. We spent, like, 7,000 and change for her gift. Yikes. All right, well, that's a, that's a hard fail. That's a big old fail right there in terms of economics. I was hoping we could get another piece of the treasure map here. That's what we're aiming for. Alright. Oh, more troops. Kirkhouse getting uh, quite, quite sturdy. I think they still hate us. We can't land, can we? Uh, can we take out the Dutch smuggler? Oh, no, they don't hate us anymore. Nice. All right, we can go and land. Perfect. All right. Let's go ahead and get you... Oh, I thought we needed an upgrade from here. That's right, we'll pull up some more boys. And we'll grab another necklace. That one's only 5k. That's not too bad. Go hit that guy. Got a thousand on him. He already landed. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, so we've got all these guys that we can go get a little bit of money from, but they're spread all over the place, so. I don't necessarily want to go hunt him down. What I really want to go hunt down is that lost city. French! We're just going to be absolutely wrecking the French constantly, unfortunately. Unfortunately for them, we're going to be very rude to the French here. Uh, we, they're the only ones we can, like, comfortably attack to get the Spanish to like us. The only ones who can comfortably attack. The Dutch are tough because there aren't a lot of ports, so there aren't a lot of Dutch ships. I mean, up in the north, we'll be able to grab more of them, but for right now, the French can be easiest because we really can't be hitting up the English. We want to be using English and Dutch ports, although now that we have St. Kitts we could use in the north, we could start hitting up the Dutch too, I guess. That would be an, that would be an option, yeah. Hey, more Maria, thanks for the follow. Welcome, good to have you here. Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, more Maria and 10 TNT, two new people hanging out in chat today. Uh, if you did not know, by going and uh, hearing me say it earlier, or uh, if you didn't read the the message up pinned up at the top, uh, whenever we finish a game on the channel here, we have a community vote for what game is going to be next, and we have it be a rank choice vote. It's five games to choose from. Whatever gets first place is what we'll be playing. Second place is guaranteed to be on that vote the next time we have a vote in that time slot, which is Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, Thursday. Those are our two different time slots that we play games. Um, whatever gets last place is guaranteed to not be on the vote list next time. And whatever's in uh, third and fourth place, I get to decide if I want to leave that on the list or not. Uh, so please go ahead, make sure to go and vote, because whatever wins is what we'll be playing on Tuesday at the very latest, but on Monday otherwise, since we are very near ending this game. Very near finishing this playthrough. Please make sure to do so. Alright, the Barbados. Actually, let's go to Trinidad first if we can. We might have gotten them to like us enough. I, I don't know if we did. <laughs> but we might have gotten them to like us enough that we can actually get a promotion in the Spanish Navy here. Oh my, look at all the treasure ships coming out of Trinidad. Holy. All coming out the backside of Trinidad. 
Wild. What symbol is that? Alright, let's get on in here. Alright, Trinidad. Been a long time since we've been here. What can we sell you? you oh my goodness, your sugar is not worth anything. I'm going to buy all your sugar instead. I'm selling it. Uh, let's go ahead and we can sell off a little bit of food. We can sell off some cannons. We need 32 at most. We can sell off the rest. It's three gold each. It's totally worth it. Oop, not bad. Um, I can do... Actually, before we do repairs and upgrades... Governor, can you, can I get a... By any chance, would you be so kind? Can I get, like, a promotion? Nope. No, okay, it's okay. All right, we'll take the invitation of his daughter. We'll do a little a little silly dance. We'll see if we can get some information about this new um, Ol Olma Olmar. I'm trying to remember what the new the city's name is. The lost city where we can get a whole bunch of money from. All right, we need to start getting some spins in here. Time to focus. Get our spins in here. A little slow on that one. Here we go. Perfect. 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 Okay. Uh, we can get the spins in. Gotta get the spins. Okay, forward and back. Turn. Turn again. Back. Forward. Turn. Turn again. Now what? Okay, forward, turn, again, okay, again, okay, get some spins in here, we need, we need a couple more spins to win this thing, oh come on, spin, there we go, alright, I don't know if we got enough spins in here. Man, it is really freezing on the last one. We did get a spin at the end. Come on, give me a twirl. Give me a twirl. Oh, we got it. He didn't wink at us. All right, excellent. That's the information we're looking for. The Olmec City. City of Olmec. Near Veracruz, again. We just need one more. Hopefully, it's this parchment here instead of this one. But we just need one more parchment, maybe two. Maybe two parchments. Okay, so we haven't, we didn't get a uh, promotion, unfortunately. But we did get some more information towards our goals, which is huge. And I just need two more things of treasure maps, four more things of uh, money, and two more things of romance. But you're going to go work on the romance right now. Our boys are starting to get a little meh with us right now, which is unfortunate. Uh, hopefully when we get over here to Barbados and we reduce the amount of ships that we have and increase the amount of money we have from doing so, uh, they'll be a little more okay with us. Gotta go sort out our finances so they're not gonna be grumpy. We really can't afford time downtime right now. We're getting too old for this stuff. We're almost 40 years old at this point. Yeah, sugar's totally worth selling here. We bought it for three over there. Totally worth it. All right. Okay. Uh, let's actually just bring ourselves back down to, well... Do we want to change over? Do we want to change over to the Brig of War? A coastal bark here. Yeah, I'm definitely not keeping that. What's it missing? It's missing... Triple hammocks, brass cannons, chain shot. I think that's it. Got five instead of eight, yeah. Vault's missing. Was it the frigate that's fast? Um, let's see here. You have a false mustache. Like the, the upgraded frigate. Oh, it was the ship of the line, that's why, yeah. Ship of the line's the best. It's a fast ship. Jeez, this thing's insane. I don't know if we even found a ship of the line when we were running around this playthrough. We, might have, we probably found one. 
We're getting fast? Yeah. The large frigate's still a good one to go for. Brig is kind of, uh, the brig is kind of in between the sloop and the frigate. Okay. I'm thinking we go and make the switch. I'm, I'm starting to worry about our health here. I'll well, starting to. We're, we're nearly 40. I'm like, I'm getting real nervous on our skills. And if we can start just getting them with uh, cannon fire, we might be in better shape. I think it's time for us to sell the Flames of Greed. It's going to be a slower ship. But I think it's going to be better for us. It's not as agile as the sloop and not as big as the frigate. Yeah, I think let's make the swap. Let's make the swap. Is the Brig of War not fast? No, I don't think the Brig of War is fast. Just right, let's go ahead. Oh, I can't bring more boys aboard. Governor. <laughs> Father brave Duke Zaldor has rescued me from the evil Colonel Mendoza. I have an amazing story to tell you, my love. Oh, perfect. While captive, I managed to obtain a piece of the map of the legendary lost city of Almec. Perfect. Just with your safekeeping. Perfect. That is all we needed. Knifehead. We head back. <laughs> Father, I have so much to tell you, however, I believe when Duke Zaldor returns, you will have a very important question to ask you. Wow. Oh. All right. I think this just means we're just going straight west and then straight east. And then we've finished everything but acquire all the gold that we possibly can before we keel over as an old man. Yeah, just one more here. We've got everything we need for this. These two will be done just by going there and grabbing us, coming back. And then we just need to grab a bunch of wealth and get the Spanish to like us. We still have a lot of pirating we need to do. We need to get those triple hammocks. Uh, let's see. Get some information here. We can get some chain shots. We want to get that. We'll check out Guadalupe as well. Hey, thanks for the raid straw. How are you doing today? Hello and welcome. How was your stream? Hopefully it went well. We got chain shot at both of these guys. Nevis has chain shot as well. This is not helpful at all. Uh, you have cotton sails, which I think we already have. Uh, you have you got bronze cannon, which I don't think we have. Uh, you have fine powder, which I think we have. You got copper plating, I know we have. Yeah, we have fine powder. So up there we can get chain shot, and that's it. It's still useful. Go get chain shot. Uh, unless there's someone down here that does. You got cotton sails. Baracus has grape shot. We already have. Bronze cannon, so we can come down here for that one. And chain shot, we can come here, down here for that one. Copper plating. Okay, so we can just go south. Cotton sails. What's the other one we're missing? Hammocks. We need triple hammocks. Who's triple hammocks? And scantlings. Triple hammocks up here at Santo Domingo. Hmm. Okay, so in which case we can scoot down here and grab from Kumana the cannons and then the chain shot from uh, Puerto Cabello. And then we go up to Santo Domingo and then we just go straight to Veracruz. I think we can do that. That works. The course is set. We're gonna go intercept this French smuggler here real quick because we're still allowed to fight the French. Yes, it's here. And we're gonna be attacking French every single time we see them, which unfortunately is gonna be very, very few because there's not there are no French ports down here. So very few of them. Oh my goodness, all the cannons. I still feel pretty agile in this guy. I'm being honest. I don't feel like I don't truly feel that hindered. It's good. Uh you got through the uh, painfully designed StarCraft 1 campaign. Wait, is it like a modded campaign or the main StarCraft 1 campaign?
We are... Okay, we haven't shot past it. Good, good. Wait, who are the English at war with? Because I kind of want to hit up the English too if we can. The English at war with the French. Okay, so if we attack the English, but we continue to attack the French and the Dutch. Okay, so the English and the French will get us standing with Spain. But if we attack the Dutch and the French, we'll recover our standing with England. That's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to kind of go a little bit of this, a little bit of that then. Insurrection, so it's the semi-canonical campaign made by a company that is not Blizzard. Ah, okay. Hydrate? You got it. we we'll Captain's Log in just a moment here. Uh, but Straw, there is currently a vote that is active. Please be sure to go ahead and vote. As we are getting near the end of our pirate run. Go ahead and pick up the good old bronze cannons. Gives us a lot more accuracy, which is great. Uh, we can't sell this yet. Let's go ahead and sell off. Oh my gosh, the luxuries are worth nothing. Um, we're actually gonna sell off food. <laughs> like, I can't. I can't in good conscience. Oh, we need to sell off one more. We're gonna sell off food. I can't in good conscience sell off those luxuries here. This is ridiculous. We'll go pick up food on our way. It's fine. Don't worry, boys. <laughs> Gonna be fine. We'll find food on the way. Broxus is on the way, and we've got um, Darkow on the way as well that we can go and hit up. Right, hit up the Dutch to make the English happy. Man, having. Oh, that's right. I was trying to use Chain Shop, but we haven't picked it up yet. We'll be picking that up in just a moment here. And 15 crew left. <laughs> oh my goodness, having this many guns is a lot of fun. We just increased the quantity of guns that we have by, what, 60%? 60% more guns? Wow, your vote matched exactly with the, the results? Really? <laughs> you just smack dab on it. It's awesome. Well, that's good. Means uh, people are looking at the same ones you are. Uh, group shot, yeah, we're not gonna. Uh, Governor, can I get a promotion by any chance? Nope. You didn't even introduce me to your daughter? This guy! Alright, Guadalupe, what's going on over here? Nothing too special. I'm gonna chain shot, yeah, we're, we're on our way literally over there right now to go get that. The Villaland, we'll go ahead and hit that thing. However it's pronounced. I feel like I botched it. What rank are you with each faction? We are rank 8 Duke with uh, everyone but Spain. And so right now we need to get Spain to like us. But we've been attacking Spain like crazy, so it's only now that we're not, we don't have a bounty on our head. Man, if only I had some chain shot, I could go and hit these guys. Alright, well, if I can't get you, I'm just gonna sink you, alright? Like, this is how it's gonna go. Either stop fleeing, or we're gonna put a hole in your boat. Okay, yeah, we can catch up now. Fuck doing only three knots. Yeah, not having chain shot makes us tough whenever they're starting to run from us. We don't have the wind in our favor. Let's hit up the Dutch a bunch just so that the English are happy, but we're done with hitting the Dutch. Because we still want to go and land over here. Let's sell off some stuff. The French, and that is our main target. Oh, this is also a Dutch port. Was this was a Dutch port? Or like most, when I was just looking at the map at least, was, was it a Dutch port? Alright, yeah, it was, okay. Dutch smugglers over here. Yeah, just knock them straight down to no guns, nothing they can do. Uh, if you were to metagame, uh, you could have voted against the second place despite liking the... Liking it sounds scummy. It's true. It's true. Uh, so how is it going right now? Fable's in first place, Raph is in second. Nice, nice. We still have, you know, days before the vote is up, so... Plenty of opportunity for it to flip-flop. We'll see. Ooh, luxuries. 
a bunch. I'll go ahead and we'll sell off the goods too, it's fine. Get our cargo. Get this cargo hold down. Drop off a couple months of food as well. Nice. Upgrade everything. Talk to the governor, he's probably not going to be the happiest with us. Yep, we captured some of you guys. Sorry. Um, we don't actually need more info, do we? Right? We we know what we're doing. Yeah, we, we actually don't. We could go and give her that for the last one, but between having Knifehead and knowing it's in the vicinity of Veracruz, I think it's straight to the north of Veracruz again. But we can just scoot up from the south side. All right, we need to go all the way up to Santo Domingo now. Man, it'd be nice if these guys were a little happier. Actually, we could probably use some more food. But let's just go grab this real quick. Don't you shoot me. Just get rid of their entire crew. Right. A little bit of food, a bunch of, uh, bunch of goods. If we drop this... Oh. 50 goods, it's just too, too valuable. Can't can't not take it. And a ship. All right. Uh, Central Domingo. We got to go more or less north here. All these Spanish ships. Where are the French ships? I need some French ships. All right. We got to get a captain's log in here. We'll do that as soon as we leave Santo Domingo. The captain's log going. Problems are going straight against the wind. I can't believe the wind is not in our favor right now. My goodness, where's this canoe going? What are you doing out here? You're like in deep water. What are you doing? <laughs> We're in the middle of the Caribbean. Where are you going? 28 weeks out. Oh my goodness, I think they're lost at sea. They're 28 weeks out. That's insane. They're, all <laughs> they're over half a year out at sea at this point. I think they're lost. That That is unfortunate. Being stuck on a canoe for half a year. Well, I think I would go crazy. You're just in such cramped conditions. I don't think I can do it. A modest Spanish port. And land. Merchants. Wherever we can. Figure two. Let's uh, go up to four months. Because actually, let's go up to five months. We're going to go on that large trip, and I don't know if we're going to be running into anyone along our way here. There we go. Triple hammocks. Go ahead and sell this. Well, a day is like two seconds, so it's only like seven minutes. I mean, true, true. But like in real life, that would be. Absolutely horrific. San Juan. Oh no, couldn't have gotten their goods there. Okay. This daughter is beautiful. Uh, we can go ahead and hire for six of you. Actually, no, we can hire all of you because we have the. Actually, how many can we have now? Triple hammocks? 300. Oh my. Very nice. All right. The Brig of War is no longer the Revenger. Revengery. Um, what was it? We've had the Flames. The Flames of Vengeance, the Flames of Greed. Uh, the Flames of... Um, also, Flames of War. Don't get in our way. Also, Governor? Would you like to give me a promotion? No. Okay. Uh, we could go and bribe the daughter. But again, we don't need to. There's no need for that. There's no guarantee she's going to give us good information anyway. Uh, with this ship, the Brig of War... Let's look this up real quick. The Brig of War... We want uh, Broad Beam and Running Broad Reach. Broad Reach and... Okay. Broad Reach and Beam Reach. Which is... Beam Reach is just dead on. Okay. Broad... Wait, what? Broad beam reach is here. Right, okay, so literally 
everything on the left side of the ship. From the back to anything on the left. If we can do this, we should go fastest. Oh yeah, now we're picking up speed. Nice. Just think, every time you visit a harbor, it's a week, but everyone you have uh, leave it. But uh, every time you leave it, uh, it will take you about a week to turn around and hit port again. Actually, yeah, it does take quite a lot of time, huh? Uh, yeah, we'll go hit at the French, because the French are still at war. Arrange for chain. We'll eat that shot. Will annihilate their sails. Sit them down. Right, we'll surrender. A bunch of luxuries. Don't mind if I do. All right, we're out of here. Full speed ahead. All right, so we're going to. Ver oh, wrong one. We're going to Veracruz. So we actually need to go more. And kind of go north. Actually, gotta go this way. We'd hit the coast and we can run along the coast. We have six months of food. We're fine. What we need to do is get up and around as efficiently as we can to get to Veracruz. We gotta get up around uh, the Yucatan. Oh man, a French treasure ship. Always tempting. <laughs> Alright, where were we? Captain's Log! Start date September, 20th, uh, September 20th. 1681. We're on the twilight years of our journey. The crew is about ready to mutiny. A real sad sight, to be sh to be frank. We now are at the point where we just need to find one last lost city, finish wooing our lady love, acquire a few more medals from the Spanish, and hoard the last bit of wealth that we need to be able to retire, to live off of for the rest of our days. We're on our way. Let's see if we can make it there. In one piece. Before the mutiny begins. And log. Aren't you Frank, though? Uh, you aren't Frank. <laughs> Are you Dutch? I think, yeah, we're Dutch. Yeah, yeah. I think, technically speaking, the character is always Spanish. Actually. I think, technically speaking, the character is always Spanish. But you pick which uh, crew you start with. But I think you are always Spanish. Because the um, Marquis Montalban is the one who takes your family into uh, servitude to pay off debts. Right? And so if you're paying off debts and a Frenchman is the one who comes to... Co uh, an Englishman... Sorry. A, a Spanish man is the one who comes to collect those debts... And it's the one, and then you end up having to fight the Spanish constantly to get your family back from their custody. It would, uh, it would bear to reason that you were within the, you know, Spain at the time. They keep it kind of vague, but it doesn't make any other sense to me as to like being in Spain and then the authorities with a marquee like bust down your door while you're having supper. And take your family into uh, into custody because of debts. I don't think uh, debt collection worked like that back in the day, back in the 1600s, when uh, like cross nation, because they had like town guards and like helping them. But I think tactically you're always Spanish, but then you pick which crew you want to start off with. Which, you know, lets you pick which uh, nationality is going to be happiest with you at the beginning of your journey. All right, we are not in great shape here. I thought we were going to have plenty of food, but we are going way slower than I was expecting. The wind has been just a piddling a few knots. And we're just not able to really take off. Uh, so let's go ahead and we're going to buy food. Buy all of it. Luxuries are actually worth a, a pretty penny here. So we can. So let's sell one gun. Just give our sails a quick repair here. Should speed us up a little. Oh, nice. Instantly up to 10 knots. I like it. I drop off some more luxuries over here. 22. Totally worth. 
Uh, what if I take all of your food and I sell you all of our luxuries? What about that? And I'll sell you four guns, because I'd like to get all the money I can. Uh, shipwright, there's nothing we can get from here. It's okay. Actually, I could have sold that ship, couldn't I? I think our, I think our coffer, or our, um, our hold is small enough now that we can. Yeah. I'm gonna sell it off. Let's sort that out. I don't really like the idea of selling off our luxuries for 10 only. We have four months of food, we should be fine. Let's go grab some more guys. It's, of course, gonna make them a little more unruly. But I'd like to have more of them on hand if we can. Nah, yeah, we're not gonna attack those guys. Yeah, so our guys are gonna be a little unruly because we haven't been gaining money. I need them to just not mutiny until we go and we get to the Lost City. Then we'll have uh, 140,000. And they shouldn't be mutinying. We should be good to go at that point. Let's see if we can go and sell off our luxuries here. It's a wealthy trade port, uh, port so we should be okay. We should be able to sell them here. Yeah. Yeah, sell them for 10 or sell them for uh, 20. Oh my goodness, food's expensive here. Whoa. Uh, governor? Any chance I can get a... Uh, no. Uh, escort? What is this? Ultimative war to... Um, France? Uh, I'm sure it doesn't need any help. Oh my goodness, it's going to the other side of the world. It's got a long way to go. That thing's going all the way up here. I mean, it should be fine. It's all mostly Spanish waters. But still. Right, Veracruz is due west. We're going to go a little south, because my goal is to go and creep up the coast. Just to ensure we don't miss anything. Probably should have gone for that Dutchman. would have been good just for us to get a little more coin in our pockets. Fire Raiders, perfect. Let's go grab these guys. We hit up the ranger here. Let's get a little more money in our pockets. See if that'll make our guys a little bit happier. They're quite unhappy with us. As well as I was hoping. We have significantly more boys than them, so I'm sure we got it. Alright, we'll go for the flash. Alright, get to the top of the stairs and go for the chop. Good job. Flash. Easy. Just food and guns. We can't take it all if we drop it, so we'll keep it. We'll do that, uh, calms them down a little bit so that they're, yes, unhappy, but not mutinous. Go ahead and land here. Merchant. Sell off his food. Essentially nothing. Let's repair the sails. I'm willing to put the money in. That'll just get us to sail faster here. 11 knots. Alright, so we are looking for... Knife Head. Alright, we gotta keep an eye out for Knife Head. Yeah, I had a feeling it wasn't gonna be south of... of Veracruz. Uh, let's go and land in Veracruz and sell off everything we can to try and keep our... Our money number is continuing to go up just to keep our crew from mutinying. Alright, so... Oh, food's actually worth something here. Yeah, let's keep, let's keep that much on. Shipwright. The Ranger. Tavern. Grab another nine boys. Um, uh, Hermosa. Oh my goodness, actually. Ooh. Luxury's quite good over there. Quiet over here. Ah, yes, we can go get some money off this guy. Perfect. Totally forgot he was here. Give us like 3k. 3 or 4k, which will be good. Again, any money we can get right now is going to slow the anger of our crew. They just want to see coins going into the chest. They just want to see coins going into the treasure chest. That's all they care about. I don't blame them. It's literally what we pay them after, like, four or five years uh, on the sea. All right, 3K, perfect. Governor? All right, war with the English. That's it? Peace. 
Uh, I've seen you recently. Took excellent. Can be happy with almost there to Baron. Um, okay, uh, we might as well go ahead and do a quick ball. She might give us the last bit of info. It's not like we need it. We might as well grab it. Because this might be the last dance we need to do. We'll see how we do. Let's start getting some spins in here. Some good old spins. Okay. Come on. No, no spins. Come on. Too, too fast. Pressing the button too soon. Okay. There we go. Okay. Come on. Still too soon. There we go. Oh, now we're crushing it. Wasn't fast enough on that one. On focus. All right, we're getting some good spins in here. Back. Throw. Oh, forward. Oh, jeez. I was expecting backwards. Forward. Gracious, I was not ready for the switch. It was a bad fumble. Very unfortunate. We did not get a twirl from here. We're only going to get a wink. Because of that horrible stumble at the end there. Yeah, just a wink. Hopefully she'll still give us the info. She might give us nothing, though. Oh! Okay. Uh, oh, Villa Hermosa. We can actually swing on by and grab that on our way out of here. Not bad to have. Since Villa Hermosa is right here, so we can just go get another 3k on our way out. That should really help uh, appease the crew in their very, very rowdy nature. <laughs> they are not happy with us at all. Okay, so it's probably gonna be the second landmark, not the first one, but the second one, yeah? The first one there is the one we went to last time. Maybe it's the third. Dark Shallows, Devil Stone, Dagger Shallows. What? We get a knife head. Um. Ah, there we go. It's another one up here. I would not call this in the vicinity of Veracruz. I would call this to the north of Veracruz. We are so far from Veracruz right now. This is. I would never call this in the vicinity of. We're further from Ver from like Veracruz to other cities. Then we are close to Veracruz. You kidding me? There's knife head. I would not call this in the vicinity of ever. That's absolutely not right. All right, let's see if we can find it. All right. There's that. That's the rock. Head and arches. There's arches. We can go further south. And there's the temple. Totem, a geyser. There it is. Nice. We got it. We didn't need to go get the last bit. It's right there. The two poles. Nice. All right. Done. That is the last hidden city. Lost city. Another 50,000 gold pieces. I'm kind of surprised that these don't ramp up in uh, the amount that you get for them. There's always 50k. Alright. The boys should be... Oh my goodness, they're still very unhappy with us. What? Okay. Uh, we'll get some more food in, uh, on the ship here. They're still really grumpy with us having this much? Jeez. Oh my goodness, the wind's literally against us. Off the coast a bit. There we go. There's a little... 
a little more manageable over here. All right, good. It's starting to spin back down. Yeah, let's head back over to Veracruz. We'll pick up some more food. We'll hit uh, Villa Hermosa. We'll go ahead and get a little more money from there, too. Uh, then we'll head back towards uh, Barbados so we can go ahead and sort out stuff with the lady. And then literally all it is is just total wealth points and getting up to being a duke for the Spanish, which means we're just going to become an absolute monster for anyone, anyone who's not part of Spain. Anyone that Spain's against is going to be very unhappy with us. Hopefully not the English. Six guns. Bananas, good with spices. It's all English. No, that's not English. It was Dutch. I can go grab that on the way. Right, we got nothing. Governor. You're at war with only the English. That sucks. Sucks a lot. It's a real pain. Alright. Oh my goodness. Jeez. Expensive. We buy only enough food for two months. Wildly expensive. Alright, so since they're only at war with the English. The English is at war with everyone. Oh, that really sucks. We might not be able to see our lady for a little bit. Actually, how's our health? Are we still just in normal poor health, or are we doing being worse? Just in poor health. We're 40 years old. We really gotta settle down. This is the last time we're coming over to Veracruz. We won't be over on this side of the Caribbean again. I think we're gonna be just sitting near between St. Kitts and Barbados. Well, I guess San Juan and Barbados, because we're going to be able to... Well, no, because Trinidad's down by Barbados. That works. We can do that. Maybe we can rely on Trinidad. Unless it's this way. I thought it was down here. It's up here. Alright, Villa Hermosa. All this wind. Wait, what? Do they work with each other? Oh, they are! Excellent. Uh, we're not going to hit them right now. One's down. We'll hit that. Uh, we'll hit up all the Dutch on our way here in a moment. Let's first take care of this. Nothing we can get here. Merchant. Okay, way better food prices. We'll just completely fill out our coffers. Get, the, get everything completely full up. Oh, not you. Not the tavern. Ten more boys. Get aboard. What do you have here? Food's not that cheap, but... Oh, actually, yeah, let's go take this guy out. Take this guy out, get another 10 guys on the crew. We can get 300 in total. I would like to get a full 300 crew if we can. Let's completely fill ourselves out. Then we're just going to start ransacking. I mean, honestly, if we can actually... You know, if we can make the Dutch our enemy, we could go and convert a couple of Dutch cities on the way back. That would make the Spanish happy. Because if we got Vi uh, Villa Hermosa... Um, Santa Marta and uh, Puerto Cabela to all convert back to Spanish. That would work out well. Governor, any chance you want to give me some something here? You got the one of criminal in Veracruz. Okay. Nope. Kind of hoping we were going to be given a couple acres of land, but nope. Well, let's angle ourselves up towards like Port Royal here. Transporting troops. Oh no, you're not. We got it behind, so the wind is in our sails. A bark of war against our bark of war. Oh, you don't say. Okay, then you get a chance. Alright, stab him. Slash him. Good, go for the big old mighty chop. Ooh, not good. Slash. Slash again. Give him with the bucket. Oh, we're too slow. Buck him. Slash him. Chop him. Huh? What 
ahead and grab... What the heck is going up here? Massive conflict. Two privateers. Sank someone. Oh, those immigrants to Hermosa. Yeah, so that's... How Hermosa had both... Um, troops and population coming in. Hermosa was about to become, like, super fortified as a Dutch colony. Or should it be, like, a prosperous Dutch city, honestly. These guys have already surrendered. We just have to go and hit them. And we'll take those spices. Thank you very much. I'll also go and grab these privateers here real quick. These are always good for us to grab. Queen Anne's Revenge. Two brigs. I'm expecting a surrender. Nope. Okay. Stubborn indeed. Go for the thrust. Oh, go for the slash. Uh-oh. Go for the thrust. Thrust? This isn't good. Flash? Well, that's not good. Okay. Oh, good gracious. This isn't good. Fuck. Bad. Not good. Wait. Duck. Again. Thank goodness he just doesn't have troops. We just have to hold out. <laughs> Holy jeez. We almost got knocked off the ship. <laughs> Luckily he ran out of boys. That could have been real bad. That could have gone very poorly. Luckily, it worked out a-okay. Position. Okay. We only got 37. Let's see if we can do this. We got a long sword. Oh. Fuck him. Stab him. Slash him. Oh. Wait. wait. Harry. What? I thought Harry died. Okay. Oh, I tried to duck. That was, that was the wrong call. Nope. Duck him again. Jump. Yeah, We're gonna have to win off of <laughs> off of him running out of troops again. Yeah, we're starting to get slow in our old age of being 41. Yeah. Give up, he's the last guy. Even though there's fighting in the background. Our old 41-year-old body is starting to struggle. Keep up with these guys. Uh, yeah, if we could land over here, that'd be really big. And we can go and offset all, offload all these ships and hopefully get a promotion. Green transports and the like. Such a smuggler. Oh, come on. Wind. Any amount of progress forward, please. Ugh, oh, fighting the wind is the worst. Is this in a standstill here? Alright. Oof, made it. Oh yeah, that was very much worth it. To keep, and we'll sell all the food we can. Well, actually, it's, that's that's fine. That's it. That's enough food. Don't sell any more. We're fine. Uh, before we sell any of this, talk to the governor so we can get uh, repairs for free. Sell it Nothing, me. sir. <laughs> Six troops. Luxury is good. Okay. Yeah, we're still not going to go hit up any Spanish treasure galleons or anything. We'll repair this. Got a good chunk of damage. I'll just speed us up and out of here. Our boys are still not happy with us. So we just need to keep getting more money. Non-stop. Captain's long. Yeah, they're there. What was everyone?
All right, the rising sun. We're just gonna keep going for any any fights we can get on our way over here. That's slightly off on the angle there. Oh, that was really good. Yeah, they've got no chance now. Ah, oh, should have gone for the chain shot. If I knocked out their sails entirely, they might have given up. Oh, got him with the knee. Knee with the bucket. Alright, slash. Oh, nope. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. Ah. Ow. Okay, back up we go. Means that Kuras actually ate that one. Nope. Back down we go. Back down we go. Big slash. Big slash. Okay, thrust. Big slash. Well, this isn't good. Our thrust is eating those shots again. Okay. I have to start doing... Oh, jeez. Dodge him. Fuck it. Yeah, we're starting to get too old for this. I need to get better at ship. We, we need to do a better job of ship combat. We're starting to get a little too, uh, <laughs> too slow in our old age. It's so fast. Uh, our armor is the only thing that's having us hit first with some of these. Watch it. Match him. Watch him. Oh my goodness. Barely got him. We only had 18 men left. We were about to win regardless. We hit the Rotterdam. Ow. There you we lost a lost a gun. Alright, chain. That's not gonna hit. Oh, one did. And slowly slowing him down. I came with a great shot. Remember, the less crew they have, the longer it takes for them to reload the guns. Also, wait, can we actually put them at zero crew? Got them to one. <laughs> Got them to one crew. Can we actually get them to zero crew? Is that a thing? Remember this. Blacktown. Oh, that's all free? That's all not free. I'll tell you who, though. What ship? Oh, don't hit the reef. Alright, uh... Up towards Havana? We could probably do that. Main thing here is we just need to get... We just gotta get east. Fast as we can. Then it would work. We can go up and around, I guess. Our crew is happy enough. We've got 12 months worth of food. We might just try and push it. Go southbound. On wind. Give me that push. Our sails also still need some repairs. And our sails have 24% damage. They're still getting fixed passively, and they do take damage from the black clouds. Uh, let's see, Spanish ports nearby. More Spanish ships. We just, just need, let us move forward, please. Please, wind. Give me a south or a north wind. That'd be great. So far out from where we want to be. Yeah, south or north wind will give us what we need. Or, you know, just as time goes by. Slowly fix our sails and we'll get a little faster. 
This wind is just brutal. Wind was nice. If we get a southward wind, that'd be huge. Oh, that's big. Okay. Well, 15 knot wind. That's good. Keep pushing a little, uh, little more eastward here. We could land over here at Santa Catalina. And go ahead and try and drop off this ship that's trailing us right now. More or less on track to get there. We're a little north of it, but... Okay. Alright, now we've got a southward wind. Nice. Ah, Santa Catalina. <laughs> we just got its economy to thrive. Perfect! That'll give us the ability to sell a lot more when we get there. Perfect timing. Alright, Santa Catalina. These tempting treasure ships that we just cannot go for. Governor, give me a promotion. Oh my goodness, give me a promotion. <laughs> Greedy numpty. Uh, Barbados. Barbados is doing well. The governor's not as beautiful. Oh, you don't say, do you? I would have no idea. Alright, trade. Guns, not worth much, but let's just offset some. Food is going to sell down to. 48 is what we need to be at. Yeah, 48, we can sell this. Before repair, just to speed us up. No one's skipping roll call yet, so we're still doing okay. We need to go more or less just due east now. We don't want to go too far south at this point. Too far south, we're just going to counter by going north again. But the wind is just not going to let us go north. Oh my gracious, look at all of the Spanish ships. We can't attack any of these. Not if we want to get some more Spanish standing, which I do want to get. Okay, perfect. Come on, wind. Keep pushing. Let's go. Sail 45 degrees into the wind. Uh, the Dutch. Hold on a second. Are they at war with the Dutch? They are. They're hidden. 45 degrees into the wind. Can do. Hmm. Dutch frigate. If you're trying to get somewhere into the uh, wind, you just have to zigzag. Yeah. Not really anything we can do about that. Just some round shot here. A little too close. All right. Go for the slash. It's a long sword. We got him. How's it going, Stormy Snow? How are you doing today? Greetings, greetings. Are you keeping the scurvy away? We're trying, but we're not in great health right now. We're, uh... How should we say struggling? Our health is quite poor. We're in poor health. We're 41 years... We're, we're old. We're old. And, uh, not healthy. And our crew's grumpy. <laughs> we just need to get back to Barbados. Dutch smuggler? Nah, we'll skip that. Ah, if only we had these guys actually angry at us. It would be huge. The Dutch still like us. If the Dutch was angry at us, then what we could have done is we could have gone and ransacked this town. Is there a way to just decide to ransack a town even if you don't, even if you're not at war with them? Can we just, can we just do that? 
We can. Excellent. Oh, we're gonna enter town and then we're just gonna ransack this town. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna just ransack this town. Ooh, on second thought, hold on, wait a minute. Let me sell some stuff here first. This food's worth nothing. We're gonna give this to the Spanish, and the Spanish are gonna be happy. Uh, keep 80, 48 on hand. We're gonna have the ship right, and we can go ahead and sell this. Tavern. Uh, Grab 19 extra guys. Gibraltar is Spanish. Would have been nice if that wasn't. Oh, actually, real quick, we can go get 10 more guys. Ooh, cradle post. I will teach you some manners, Nave. All right, knock this guy down. But yeah, let's go ahead and convert this over to a Spanish territory. That's bound to give us a, a, a promotion, right? 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 It's gotta. Um. Oak. What's up, kid? There we go. Come on. There we go. Come. Definitely struggling now. Alright, next for 10 men. Ross's daughter's real beauty. Uh, yep, that's fine. We don't really care about that. Not gonna go and hit any of the Spanish. Yep, you're at war with the Spanish and English. We took out some fire raiders, but we've also taken out some Dutch. So you're like happy but not happy. So I guess that's fine. We're keeping them kind of on the edge there. Oh, nice. Actually dumps us out here. That's cool. So we can walk back. Okay, so the Spanish is at war with the Dutch and the English. Perfect. So that means if we go ahead and we hit this. With our 228 pirates versus the 60 soldiers. <laughs> As your men storm the ramparts, the captain of the guard blocks everything. Oh, that's right. If we don't do the battle thing... We have to uh, do a duel. I forgot about this. If we have, if we have a bunch of boys. And bye. Cool. And the march has been taken. We give it to a French viceroy. I only lost 600 populations, not that bad. It's quite indecent, but they haven't lost that many. Talk to the governor. Can I get a promotion? Thank goodness. You're <laughs> now a baron. Oh my goodness. Finally. Uh, your plain daughter? Sure, why not? We'll, we'll take her to the dance. I don't know if there's any info we can get other than, like, um, the guys that we can bring to justice. But we might as well do it. Where are my spins? There we go. Focus. Fins. No. Come on. There we go. Oh, twice in one direction. All right. Finning. Finning. Not too early on that button. Too early and too late with that one. You turn and turn, and back and forward, and we turn the other way, and we turn again. We move over and turn, and then we do this one a handful of times. I think it's four. Okay, we got a good number of spins in. And forward, backwards, turn. And again, back, forward this time, turn the opposite way, and the opposite way again, and then over, and turn. Okay, I've got this. Not getting as many spins in as I'd like, but we weren't making any mistakes when it got a little complicated there. Man, it's freezing at the end there. I don't know why it's doing that now. We might have gotten a twirl out of her. Good twirl? Yeah. Very nice. Yep, 5k on Mr. P. Falkus. Good and all. 
all, but not that helpful. Right. Uh, what we care about is we're barren now. Nice. Right. Uh, back to the ship. Uh, if we look at the map, uh, let's see. We can't hit the. Well, I guess we can do the same thing again. Let's just go and turn Marcabo into uh, Spanish territory as well. Right. Uh, are they at war with the? No, they're not at war with the. No, they're not. French is at war with everyone else all of a sudden. They're not actually war with the French though. A roll ship. Oof. So tempting, but we can't do it. We can't do it. We just need three more ranks with the Spanish. Oh my goodness, look at all the payroll. Transporting troops, payroll, geez. Let's go ahead this Dutch ship here. Gotta get the Spanish to like us. We're halfway, we're, we're past halfway back to getting to Trinidad. We're finally in waters where we can start getting some uh, progress done. Oh my. But can we get this to where there's no one crewing the ship at all? This is my question. We can get it to one. If we hit it with another volley. No, okay. There's always the captain. Okay. One's minimum, you think? Yeah, I think one is minimum. It looks like there always needs to be the captain. The captain keeps himself encased in a, a good old iron box. Just to make sure he can't get attacked. Come on down here at the French and the Dutch. Any immigrants in? We've got a raider down here. And yeah, we'll let them do what they're doing. Uh, yep, they didn't make it to Marcabo. French ships. Good attacking, but it would only help our... I mean, it would make our troops happy, but I kind of want to just jump straight to taking over the city. Giving it to the English... Or giving it to the Spanish and seeing if we can get a rank out of it. I don't know if it will give us a rank just immediately going one after another. We might need to do more than just taking Maracabo. It's this wealthy French trade post and turn it into a Spanish territory. Might not be enough. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and salt the sugar. We'll give them cannons before we go and attack them when they're going to actually need the cannons. So that. Definitely just need more guys. Uh, nope. Nothing here for your daughter, sorry. Tavern, extra ten guys. We just aren't really grabbing enough boys. We need to grab a lot more boys. Get ourselves all the way up to 300 would be ideal. Alright, go ahead and let's get this guy. We were just informed about him from uh, the last lady we did a dance at, uh, with, so that worked out well. We can just go and get his 3k real quick. Extra money is always good money when it comes to making sure our boys don't get pissed off at us. Luckily, he's gone with a cutlass, so he's just ridiculously slow. For the chop. Perfect. 2,000? Oh my goodness, he's only worth two? Jeez. Uh, we're all good here, we're all good there. Go ahead and sail away. Come on, land. Land the ship. Don't get Panker. I uh, know. Back towards inland. Towards the town. It was actually a pretty close fight with these two. I'm going to say we're going to give it a go. I think we can do it. Just you need to use superior... Oh my goodness, there's a horrible start point. Actually, I mean, unless we have them come to us. We could use this and have them come to us. What we do is move these pirates over. 
Move everyone over one in the jungle, because you can only move one position at a time in the jungle. Leave them out in the open here. You can kind of scoot them over. These buccaneers have some space. But the French getting closer, and we just need to get it so that the buccaneers can shoot from cover here. So we don't want the officers doing things. Buccaneer there, pirate there, pirate there, buccaneer here. So if we take advantage of hiding within the jungle for uh, half cover, I want to move the buccaneers up, but we're not going to do that. Right, instead, we're going to move these pirates back. Just keep them in cover so we don't end up taking too much damage. Move them over. Uh, these pirates are going to move over. We're going to duck them right back into cover. Uh, now we can go ahead and swap to the officers jumping in for further cover and deeper in. Move these buccaneers up. Uh, and these buccaneers, we're going to take your turn. Okay. Good. So they're not getting any attacks off. Okay, so we can start firing from here. We're clearing them out from cover. Arts Buccaneers, Let's take out these archers. Actually, it looks like those might be scouts. One more and we'll have that unit gone. There we go. Unit cleared. Pirate, officers, pirate, pirates. Okay, so we only have pirates and officers left. We're going to skip turn. Um, we should probably get officers in a position where they can actually do something. I don't want to move these guys any further. We're going to leave these guys here. We're going to skip their turn. We're going to skip these guys' turn. All right. Turns out walking into a gun line is pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah, walking into a gun line is pretty bad. The French didn't learn this. The uh, Well, actually, I guess the French did learn this from the Americans showing them uh, how... The, because the French... The French gave America... Uh, the You know... The colonial Americans, the uh, the guns necessary to show the English why not to do this. Yeah, so let's go and get our buccaneers start firing out. So these guys are not in cover at all. That one's in cover. It's the only one we can fire from here, but that's fine. We'll take whatever pod shots we can. There's my other buccaneer. Shots off as well. Alright, now what we can do is we can sprint in with a couple of our boys. They're going to be little sacrificial lambs, to be honest. But uh, we can get in here and we can go and take out this infantry. Remember, infantry is actually ranged, not melee. So these guys are melee here. So he's going to get absolutely walloped. I'm going to skip your turn. Move you up. Again, as I was saying, he's going to be kind of a sacrificial lamb. So those guys are those guys are just going to... They're, they're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna make it. These guys are shooting? For some reason I thought those guys were... Not infantry, okay. Oh, perfect. They came up close enough we can get them. Nice. Okay. Next unit. We'll go ahead and keep firing on these guys in cover. Nope, not you yet. Buccaneers keep firing. We want to take these guys that are in cover out. Our officers can clear out the guys up front. And that should be enough to clear out that guy that's in cover right there. Alright, perfect. He's gone. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and take you. We're actually going to move you up twice to take out the scout... Or the archers. Jeez, why would you put archers in front line? What are you doing? What are you doing? I can't believe it. Uh, this allows our uh, officers to move in and take out the stronger guards. And this will allow our pirates here to go and get into kind of a, a defensive position here. They're going to get absolutely blasted, but they should be able to make it between the two blasts. Oh, especially since they're not concentrating fire. <laughs> like fools. Oh yeah, the officers can take these guys out no problem. Oh wow, actually... Wait, what? They have the height advantage? We might lose this. Oh, we want it. Perfect. All right. Go ahead and start blasting. Again. Oh, no. 
Keep blasting. This will just... We want to save as many troops as we can. Just keep blasting. Move up. And begin blasting. Uh, yeah, and we'll take this group, which has more overall troops, and bring them in. Angry pirates. Get them. Nice. We, barely, we outnumbered them by 18 extra boys, but crushed them. Oh, wow. We can't actually convert the population. Hmm. I kind of wanted to change who was in charge of this. Yes. Be tough. That's kind of the whole reason why we came. Uh, can we try again? Okay, we can try again. Straight to the ramparts. They only had 80 troops remaining after all that, after they were routed. Oh, that's not good. Duck. Slash. Slash is faster. Oh, parry. Duck. Harry, holy jeez. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's our first loss. That was our first loss right there. Alright, we're gonna try again. We lost 20 troops. That's not that bad. Our old age is starting to get us. It's too fast. I can't I can't rely on lightning quick attacks. Okay. Rust. Slash, no, duck, slash, jump. Oh, I did not jump. Dude, you saw the jump animation start, but duck, slash. We have to we have to rely more on counters than on uh, rushing him. Right, bombs away. Perfect. We made a hundred gold pieces, and it's now Spain's. All right, Spain. Give me a promotion. You didn't take a promotion? Ah, I don't think it's okay. Alright, another dance. Looking for some promotions here, Spain. Come on! Giving them all this free land, all these cities. This is a fast dance, holy. I'm not getting my timings down. There we go. Oh, that was the wrong one. Fumbling around for the right keys. Hmm? Three. Good. No, no, no spins, but still pretty good here. Now we aim for spins. Not getting these spins in. Alright, as long as we don't make any mistakes, we should be okay at this point. In a couple of spins, there we go. Oh, jeez. This is the tough part. Don't mess up. Forward. No. Oh. oh, good gracious. We're almost done! No more mistakes! Holy jeez, I cannot believe I got out of that one. <laughs> I was fumbling so bad. I was barely hitting the right ones at the right time. That was so close to problems. Alright. Another person we can go get some uh, stuff from. Centaur 2 goes nowhere nearby. I don't think we're gonna be going up there. Alright. A quiet, desolate town. We've absolutely annihilated Markov. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so with the English and the French, or English and the Dutch. Anyone hate us, by the way? No. Don't have a price on our head. Perfect. Back to Barbados. Uh, 
head on over to Barbados here. Let's finish off the quest line for our Lady Love. New governor has made it. Oh, man. Oh, this place must have gotten hit a couple of times because its military might isn't what it used to be. Come on now. Merchants. Oh, we don't have anything to sell. Alright, let's at least get some more guys. 13? Man, we're struggling to get people in here. Nope, we can't go after Spanish ships. We still need them to like us. Uh, Governor? That works the Spanish into English. Uh, yes, we took down that uh, criminal. Oh, that's right. We were going to go and fight your, uh, your fiancé. Uh, sorry. Um, or I guess now we will be fighting your fiancé. Uh, we don't have to do it quite yet, but uh, who wants us to fight the fiancé next? Okay. Well, next time that happens, maybe we'll fight. Maybe we won't. All right, we're going to book it straight to uh, Barbados, because as soon as we do that, then I think it's okay if we actually attack English. And the English end up being grumpy with us, because we'll have finished the quest line for getting our lady. We need to go and talk to uh, her dad, father, about it. On wind. Give me the push I need. Here we go. A bunch of Dutch over here we can go hit. But if we can go and just go kind of crazy with taking out the Dutch and the uh, English, and just kind of go back and forth along the southern territory here, uh, we should be able to rank up with the Spanish relatively quickly. Oh, nice, okay. So this place is just gained. So it's now a modest English colony. That's good. All the better to plunder later. Actually, if they're currently at war, they just gained a bunch of population. I take that back. Probably not the best. If they're currently at war. We could try and take that one, but we do need more English ships in the region. I don't want to go and do that yet. Let's at least take care of dropping off the uh, our wishes in Barbados first, before we go and get distracted with anything else. Too easy to get distracted in this game. <laughs> too many too many things to work on. Oh my goodness, just so many Spanish treasure ships. You know, I wonder if maybe starting off hunting Spanish at the very, uh, being with the Spanish at the very beginning and hunting everyone else might actually be a better strategy. So that in the late game, we can really focus on just hunting the Spanish since we're already a dupe with them. It's just tough because the Spanish are like really far away from... Like the English, Dutch, and French are all kind of intermingled in their locations. The evil person is all Spanish. It's true, they are. Yeah, if we want to make any progress on there, we do have to hunt the Spanish. Yeah, that's a good point. That's just so tough. All right. You have war with the Spanish, the French, and the Dutch here with everyone. I understand the recent immigrants flocked to, um, I mean, granted, we didn't do anything. Oh, and we also sacked the town. Yep, yep. Oh, oh my goodness. 1450 acres? Honey, we're we're set. We're going to set up a couple of, uh, what, uh, sugarcane plantations? Is that what, that what we grow here in, in Barbados? We get to go? The governor's beautiful daughter enters the room. Darling, how wonderful to see you again. Darling, I would like to let you know that we have, like, maybe 2,000 acres of land on this small island. I think we're set. Uh, Duke Zelda, I believe you have a very important question to ask my father. Sir, I would like to ask your daughter's hand in marriage. Or run. Sorry, sorry, I gotta go. Yes. I don't know where we had this ring, but we had a ring. The luckiest woman in the Western Hemisphere. You are indeed. Marry this old 41-year-old man. She hasn't aged a day in her life, it seems. I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. Hey! <laughs> All the swords in the background. 
clashing of steel sounds like combat. Nice. Check status. We're 41 years old in horribly poor health. Uh, our crew is very unhappy. Uh, but uh, we did it. 100%. 10. Alright, we've done literally everything but gain enough wealth, which we've actually gained another point during all this. And getting the Spanish to ha be happy with us. Now we're just hunting anyone the Spanish hates. Anyone and everyone the Spanish hates. We're entirely on the Spanish side. Who do they hate right now? The English and the Dutch. Well, that's unfortunate for everyone around here, huh? We need more boys, though. Right. Welcome more boys. Welcome aboard. Marcabo. I don't know if you're not going to actually go over there. Oh, perfect. Give me more boys. I'll teach you a lesson, Knave. I need ten more men. We need as many guys as we can get in. Because we're going to be going on an absolute rampage. We're going on a rampage. Here we go. Hey, Just Rise the Den. Thanks for the follow. Welcome. Good to have you here. Uh, Just Rise the Dead, as you can see, we're getting near the end of this playthrough. So if you would be so kind... Oh, good gracious. Focus. Focus. I need to focus. If you'd be so kind, there is a vote that is uh, pinned in the chat up above. I have to focus more on counters. Actually get my openings in. Uh, go ahead and follow that link. Go ahead and vote. It's ranked choice vote. So drag and drop them in the order you're most interested in seeing me play. And we'll be playing that once the vote ends on... I think I have it set to end on Monday, because I was pretty sure we are going to finish this game today. Oh my goodness, I don't know if we're going to win this. Oh, no, I need to jump for that one. Nope. No, I'm countering wrong. Nope. Oh. Oh my goodness, yeah, we're, we're getting old. I can't keep up. I can't keep up. All right, let's try again. We have to shamefully walk back in the door and challenge him for a second second round. <laughs> they just fixed the window, too. Oh, no. All right, go for a quick slash at the beginning. All right, good. We got him first. Gives us a little more wiggle room. I need to be a little bit better at my defenses here. My jumps, my ducks, and my parries. Jump. Duck. 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 Jump. Oh, I hit... So if you hit the attack button before you finish your... Oh, maybe I wasn't fast enough on the jump. Okay, we got it. Luckily, our, our Paras actually just ate two shots right there. You heard those teeny little dinks. They hit our... Uh, our breastplate. Yeah, good. The crew didn't see us uh, with our first attempt here, thank goodness. Really awkward. Yikes. Uh, food? No, we'll get more food. Get right. Let's get some more pears in here. Let's get out of here. Alright, so the English and the Dutch are our go-tos. English and the Dutch. Any English and Dutch ships are ours for the taking. Spanish and French, not helpful. There should be plenty of them up north here. Hopefully we can get enough uh, plunder from doing this to get our crew to stop being so grumpy. Oh my goodness. Actually, we should also drop by Guadalupe and try and get some more troops. There's Dutch, there's English. Perfect. Two ships we can go for. Although it looks like the English ship is going to land. Tavern. There's our 13 boys. For keys. Just keep ourselves up to date with info that's going on. El Dragon. We're not going to hit that. We don't want to do that. Uh, the Governor? I don't think there's anything good for us here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we uh, sold Mar Maracaba. That's true. Uh, what did you want to do? You want to ultimate him for war with the Dutch. I think it'll be fine. I'm not worried about you. It'll be fine. Mostly because we're going to be, uh, not intentionally, but uh, accidentally clearing all of the foes the French could have ended up with. Alright. We can easily surrender. So we need to grab every ship we can. Luckily, we can use all the French ports here. 
might actually be beneficial for us to go and turn one of these ports Spanish. They can't outrun us. They hit pretty hard, though. Big whiffs. Bonk. No crew for you. There we go. That's a surrender. Taking that. Next. Fighter attack on St. Kitts. Really? St. Kitts is like right here. Dutch West Indiemen. Get him. Bam. And again. Surrender. Since our sword skills are starting to lack. We kind of our go-to here is just to get them up this way. Don't you worry, ultimatum guy. Uh, uh, uh oh. Uh, yes, you. Go and take out this guy. Not go as well as I was hoping. Bit of a miss. Okay. And fire. It's done. Take him off the board. Whoa, who's firing in at us? Oh, I think we took out the ultimatum one. Whoops. <laughs> ah well. Whatever. Not a big deal. We're going to have to go and swing by a French port in a moment here. We get ourselves nice and properly repaired. So we'll sell off some ships and goods that we picked up. Oh my goodness, what's this sloop doing here? This guy actually wants to fight. He's got like 25 guys. 24 guys. It's nice and slow. Take him down. And if we triple check... The English actually aren't against us yet. Nice. Means we can go ahead and land and sell everything here. <laughs> Perfect. We sell all the goods. All the spices. Oh, hold on, it's sugar for now. Cannons, food, and repair our ship. We can't sell this one. 16 more goods need to be dropped. Oh, we can drop 16 food. Perfect. Our tavern, can we get a couple extra men? 11, perfect. We're not going over there. We can try and get ten more guys. <laughs> we, can, we can give it a whirl. It'd be good for us to practice. There's no real big losses if we fail on this one. We just end up getting to try again. If we fail against the captain of the guard versus losing a ship. Nope. Good duck. Dab. Jump. Ah, oh, too slow on the jump. You see we're activating on it, but I didn't press the button soon enough. Nope. Oh, dang it. Nope. Okay. For slash. Duck. Slash. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Gets me first. Duck. Smash. Okay. Come on. Jump. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Ah. Oh. 
Ugh. Our 41 year old body, we're just not fast enough anymore. It's just this young, you know, 30 something year old captain of the guard is too fast for me with his good old powered wig. Duck and then I didn't I didn't wait. I went straight into an attack, so I canceled my deck. We're we're too old for this. I can't I can't do combat. Yeah, this game does slowly make it so that you do have to retire your character, which I think is actually really cool. But oh my good gracious. <laughs> Alright. Alright, that's that. We're done. Ah, uh, that was our attempt. <laughs> Alright. Uh, how far out San Juan is so far? <laughs> Dalka. Uh, we tried. Okay, we managed to... Managed to still pick up some troops, just not as many as we were aiming to pick up. Let's spin over to Guadalupe in a moment here. Oh, now, now I see the game's constantly going to be messing with me. Hey, you uh, you want to go and try uh, try hitting up the cat of the guard and get him out of the way? Hmm? Want to give it a try? Want to give? Just, just you feel you feel lucky? Hmm? Good gracious! He was mocking me. All right, let's go over here to San Juan, and from San Juan we'll go ahead and see if we can get ourselves another promotion. I think we did enough work. We stopped over a town. Uh, and we haven't gotten promoted from that yet. We also took out like seven or eight ships that they're at war with. I think we should be getting a promotion here. Yes. All right. Counts. All repairs are now free. And we got an extra fifty acres. Thanks. Fifty whole acres. Whoa. Yeah, they're not going over to Santo Domingo. Or Santiago, I think it was. Alright, let's go ahead and let's get this guy. Or right, we're gonna try. I don't know if we can keep... I'm... Okay, he's got a cutlass. Thank goodness. Wait, wait, the Captain of the Guard had a longsword, didn't he? He didn't even have a... He didn't even have a rapier. We're struggling against him with the, the longsword. Yeah, we can still take out cutlasses by just attacking way too fast. 5k! Don't mind if I do. Alright, we're losing crew. Oh, that's not good. They're starting to lose crew. Mostly you see a lot of uh, failing to defend properly. Yeah, it's just the timing is tough. You know, because since I have had very little practice, it's a lot like... Um, I'm trying to think... What else we've done? What are the games we've had that? Uh, it's it's also uh, remember when we were doing uh, Dark Souls and Elden Ring, where when it finally got to the point where what I needed to do was uh, start relying on. Oh my goodness, we're actually gonna burn. This isn't good. No, oh, quick, we need to do sword fighting. It's gonna take out my ship. Uh, okay, we have to hope we win this because uh, we're in a lot of trouble here. Uh, but if you remember during Dark Souls and Elden Ring, okay, we're going out. Uh, whenever it got to like needing to do parries, I had done, I had relied so much on dodges that my skill at parrying was abysmal. Remember that? It was a it was abysmal. You spent the entire playthrough in one way and stopped and it stopped working. Yeah, I had to start parrying uh, enemies, and I just I just couldn't. I just didn't have the skill. I just never picked up the skill. Thank goodness we got repairs being free. We're at 89% damage, by the way. That's... We, our ship almost sank. Can I drop this? Nah, 66. It's okay. We can just drop some uh, goods here. Drop all the sugar, why not? Nope. Oh. Shipwright. 
Built. Tavern. No one. Hello. French guy. They're not over with him now. Right, let's try this guy. Can we get him? Bam. Two guys hiding out in the same tavern. He's like, oh, phew, he left. But wait, we've returned. <laughs> Thankfully, they just keep using cutlasses. Another 5k, good. Governor. One of the criminals been captured, as well as a frigate. Ah, not enough for you. Try one more time. Close to getting to the marquee. Okay, we're close, we're close. Alright, we didn't lose anyone on the roll call this time. Uh, you're still not at war with the French, right? Alright. Back we go! We just can't keep it through right now. We have 177,000 coin. How can we not keep a crew? <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh my goodness. We need a we need a huge crew, and I just can't get it. I can't marshal a big crew. What we could do is we could rest for what nine months, div uh, divide the spoils, rest for nine months, uh, raise an army of 300 or so. And, can, and then knock over St. Kitts and Nevis to Spanish control. And that would get us one more rank. We need more than one rank. We need, what, three? Two. Two ranks. Two ranks. Alright. Fire away. Myself stalled. Yeah, it worked out. We didn't get shot because of it. Right, no more guns for you. You're see, getting close. How's it going, very average guy? How are you doing today? Aren't you afraid that the game will force you to retire your character? No, no, not at all. I mean, eventually it does, and I'm expecting to. We're so close to completing everything that I'm not too worried if we end up. Yeah, you know, I'm. I'm not a completionist. I don't have to beat the game. Uh, at 100%. We normally end up like 90%ing, 95%ing games. I'm okay if we don't. I would like to if we can, though. If we have the capacity to, I would love to actually go ahead and finish up everything. Because it's just two more ranks with the Spanish than getting a large enough amount of wealth. Which we are right next to getting enough. Not quite get that one right. Yeah, the real issue is just I need so much more crew. I need so much more crew. There we go. All the guns are gone. Surrender. Luxuries, nice. Got a merchantman up here. Only eight guns. We'll probably just I mean it doesn't hurt for us to just keep up this strategy. Granted, it means we don't get any guns to replenish our lack of guns right now, because we're actually knocking all the guns into the drink. So we are actually a little behind on, on guns, but it means that we can't get attacked. So. Not working for me so far. Alright, how are we doing? English still are not pissed at us. Awesome! Means we can go ahead and go into port here at Nevis. What? Why are you attacking me? Wait, really? I don't have a. I thought I didn't have a bounty on my head. I don't. Oh. Let's go over to a Dutch port then. The Dutch don't hate us yet. Oh, I want to go for those, but I need to go and repair our ship. Our ship's taking a little too much damage. Selling these uh, guys too would be good, and seeing if we could pick up some extra crew would be nice. But hey, very average guy. If uh, you enjoy these types of games, 
You should take a look at the games that we have on the current vote list for what we'll be playing once we finish this one. Rank choice votes, as it always is, so you drag and drop them in the order that you're interested in seeing me play. And whatever gets the most votes is what we'll be playing. We've got some other uh, good old games, some good oldies that we'll be we're looking at playing. Let's go ahead and sell off what we can. Sugar's not worth selling here, but honestly, we just need to offload. I don't have enough guns. <laughs> I don't have enough money, actually, so I don't think I can sell it. Nope. Much as I want to. Governor, you're at war with the English as well? Oh, you're very happy, then. We're going, we're taking him out. Granted, I am hitting up the uh, the Dutch as well, but... I should be at least relatively happy about that. Seven more guys. All right. Oh, <laughs> uh, the fact that I can't get the, the spares is definitely hurting. Definitely hurting us. But yeah, we're getting our we're, the game's getting really close to kicking us into retirement. This is the reason why we swapped from the sloop, by the way, is that we knew this was this was coming. At some point, there's nothing we can do. This combat just ends up being too impossible. All right, so we managed to reset to refill our guns. We now have a full set of guns. Go for Rotterdam next. We'll complement the guns. We are smoking a bit. That's no good. I can't remember what health we have to be at for smoking to occur. I hit by one of those cannons. Oh, that's not good. That's going to be quite damaging. At least we took out half of their guns. Chunk of the guns. Getting closer for some chain shot. They won't let us catch up. Apparently we're blasting in at nine knots. Nothing more they can do now. Get their crew count down until they surrender. The luxury is good. Back around. Let's see if we can land back at St. Martin again. I know I just took a whole bunch of ships from you. I'm sorry about that. I would like to sell all of this stuff back to you. Some of the money. Thanks. So we still have... We're still offset on how much we need. Oh my goodness, there's no extra troops. Oh, we need more troops. We're going to have uh, a crew shortage issue. We're having an issue just coming straight from not having enough crew members. At least the Dutch still, like, we're, we're raiding from the Dutch, and the Dutch are repairing all of our ships back to full health. Okay, so we'll have you surrender there. We haven't actually surrendered. This is quite awkward. They're just, they're just a moving barge now. They're a barge with guns. Been here before our ship breaks. Alright. Alright, good. We got him. He's slow enough. Oh, not quite. No, not quite. Okay. Didn't jump fast enough. Jump. Okay. Dodge. We're just we're eating the thrusts. Thrusts will like half the time do something. There we go. Right, I do not know what the condition of our ship is. We're going to get out. We'll let you escape. Let's just go 
We're just gonna pick up some crew members around here that have fallen off of the other ship. Get some money. Because, uh... We could use some extra crew. And our ship's in horrible condition. Well, yeah, hull at 82. I just I couldn't risk it. I couldn't risk it. We don't want to lose this ship. The best ship we got. We don't have a backup that we can really rely on. Gold for your repair. Tavern? No one! Yeah, we're just going to be in trouble by just not having enough crew to man the ship. We are pulling in more and more cash, though. So this is this is still working. Not as well as we'd like. And we need to get the crew happy here. It's in kits. Can I park here? Are you still angry at me? Not good. Tavern? 19 guys. Get on board, boys. That's way on the other side. We're not going to St. Augustine anytime soon. Merchant. We could get some backup food if we want. Alright, All right, I think we've done enough. Let's go and swing by a Spanish port. So let's go back to San Juan. Hopefully we can go and get some more troops. Stuck at 140 right now. It's a decent number, but it's it's not enough. Not enough. We took out a bunch of French or a bunch of English and a bunch of Dutch. Which now you're only at war with the Dutch, unfortunately. But well, actually, fortunately, we've only been messing with the Dutch of late. So it's not like we've done any work that hasn't been beneficial. Or a standing. On San Juan. Give me what I need. Yes! Oh my goodness. Merchants have more to sell. Alright, one more rank to go. One final rank to go. Sell off some more food. 13 guys. We're not going over there. It's all quiet here. Uh, the economy stinks. Get a new governor? Nah. We repaired. Alright. One final status point to get. Just one more. And after we get that, then we divide the plunder and see if we can get ourselves to uh, 24 out of 24. Because since we're playing on rogue difficulty, do we get... Is it 15% of the spoils? What? Oh, no, we had we got 20% of the spoils before. Is it 25% of the spoils or 30% of the spoils when we uh, divide the plunder on rogue difficulty? 25 just doesn't feel like... That would quite be right. So maybe it's 30? It's double every time? Oh my goodness, 40% then? Oh my goodness, so on Swatchbuggler you get 80%? Holy jeez. <laughs> That's a lot. Either way, it's still going to be a bunch for us. Great shot over there. Oh, what a gorgeous shot. That worked out really well. 5, 10, 20, 40 would be next, logically. Yeah, it makes sense to me. And it's part of why your crew is busy. Oh, I guess that makes sense, because they're gonna they're looking at this mountain of gold that I see, and I'm like, we've got so much money, why are they so angry? They're like, well, we get a smaller portion this time. So that makes sense. That makes sense. Smuggler. Amsterdam. Dodges. Hey, our coffers are full, but uh, this jackboot of a captain is getting away with half of the bloody thing. It's true. We're going to be walking away with the real big spoils. That's good. So that's going to help out with our wealth count, uh, that wealth counter then. Jeez, that's not good. Okay, back down you go. 
We can we can just win by attrition, but I don't want to lose more boys than we have to. Okay. Ah, I thought he was gonna do a chop. Okay. Yes, we're we're struggling to the point where the, even this is tough. before he ran out, but uh, yeah, we, we need more troops. And the problem is our morale is so low that no one wants to join us. That's why we're getting like six people or seven people to join at a time. Yeah, my defense needs a lot of work. It's true. I'm trying to anticipate if they're going to go down or up, and I'm often just totally whiffing it. Military ship bearing payroll for St. Martin has arrived. Okay, so it's going to make it a lot stronger. I think what we're going to do is instead we're going to use maybe Trinidad as our target for dropping off. We're trying to get our upgrade. The San Juan. Maybe? I don't know. Come on. I just want to go do... I just want to go do east. Alright, fine. We'll go south. Oh, wait, hold on. Hmm? What you got, Dalka? We're getting like no speed here. There we go. Remember reading something? Uh, what did you remember reading? Transporting new governor. You might want to find yourself a, a Jesuit priest. Oh, why so? Got this right before it landed. What do we get from the Jesuit priest? Oh my goodness, that's a lot of troops. Um, I'm with grape shot and run. Oh, get another knot. Keep going. I need more speed. Our sails are damaged. If you sink or capture a nation's most powerful uh, type of ship, the Flying ship, worship the line. The nation will never promote you unless you get a Jesuit to intervene on your behalf. This is problematic with the Spanish, since Marquis Montalban fails on a flag galleon. Oh, you're right. He does. Or did. Oh, this is bad. Okay, we actually have to win, win. We have to actually win, win this thing. Okay, he's got a long sword, so he's not super fast. I couldn't even get a thrust in there. Okay. Dodge. Let me just focus real quick on this one. We'll have to go sort that out. We can go to a Jesuit missionary in a moment. Luckily, if we dodge down or up, we should be okay against his thrusts. Not against the chops, though. Nope. Oh. Oh. Down. Okay. Yeah, uh, because we have the um, the armor, I think we're okay as long as we do a semi-dodge from a thrust. So I just don't have to worry about five. There's only eight and two. That could be really bad. Alright, so I'll have to go to a Jesuit monastery. I don't know where the no clearest, closest one is here, though. The boys. And a dad. Well, they had triple hammocks the whole time. Well, there you go. More you know. Okay. That's a lot of food. Good right. Perfect. Now, where's the closest place we can go? Uh, is there a monastery here? No. We can go all the way down south. We can go all the way down south past Trinidad. So that'll, that'll work. That'll work. So if the Spanish are still at war with the Dutch, we can keep hitting up the Dutch. We'll keep attaching, attacking Dutch ships for now. Which are actually 
I prefer attacking Dutch ships because they have just such smaller crews. It's so much easier on us. Here. A new governor arrives at St. Martin. Apparently, they somehow managed. Even with the Spanish Raider here. Wow. Wild. Very wild. Okay. Lots of luxuries here. It's worth so much more. We'll circle back down south, but. Worth so much more up here. And the bear. Good sell. Tavern. Extra eight guys. Or two go, which we're not going to. The other way. We have more Dutch ships here. Luckily, there's a bunch of Dutch ships in this area. A big hub for them. So it's going to connect. Uh, nope. Nice. Too fast. We're holding on strong. Now we can start getting some real space here. We're gonna have to just eat these shots, though. Okay. Knock out the sloop. The wind is just not on my side today. Guys, get down here. Come here, you. Good count all the way down to 39. 17, we should be able to board. Take a nap. And you should have no sales. <laughs> Instantly surrenders. We will take that. Thank you very much. Of course, our sails aren't in the best condition either. But hey, we'll take the win. Okay, so we just need to go and um, beat up the, uh, the Dutch a good bit here. And then we need to go to that Jesuit monastery, yeah? A grain transport and a pirate hunter. And the pirate hunter has just disappeared for some reason. Not sure why I ran away. This thing faster than this is it's not good. I think that's just out of range. Is this pirate hunter? Oh, now he's going to get to us. Did not get my shots off before. We don't have as many troops as I'd like. We're really struggling with uh, with quantities here. The number of boys we have is... Uh, we're really struggling keeping our boys... Keeping our boys on target here. Down. What? I guess I hit attack too soon and I cancelled my dodge. What the? You float like a butterfly. Holy. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're struggling on, on troop count right now. My, my defense is getting significantly better. Somehow that worked. We dodged in midair. 
We're gonna win, but it's this is not a this is not a good win. This is about as actually bad as our win could be, to be honest. <laughs> we lost we lost like 40 troops doing this. Yeah, we got 38 boys left. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to ca uh, catch that bark. Let's go and land. New warship. What kind of warship is that? What kind of warship is that? Up off of the sugar. Up all the spare guns. Just sell all the spare food. This is fine. Barkentine? Ah, that's not so useful. Repair. Upgrade cell, upgrade cell, upgrade cell. Tavern? No one! Not one! We might be forced to split the goods early here. I was hoping we could hold out a little bit longer. Splitting the goods. Um, I guess let's go to the... What? Can we do the Jesuit Monastery before we have the qualifications we need to get the uh, Marquis or the Duke um, title? Or can we not do that yet? Let's see if we can pick anyone up at the, this French port. Who knows? Just got hit. I don't see why you can't? Okay. Yes. Mental Domingo. Uh, 14 guys, alright. The problem is we're gonna have a significant reduction in the amount of guys willing to join us because there are um captains of the guard that are gonna constantly be in the tavern because you're not gonna be able to clear them out. Get enough food, that's fine. No, not merchant. Tavern. Man, I miss clipping it crazy now, but 14 more guns. Ooh, all right, we're up to 140, uh, 141. We can have 300, we're not even at half of our capacity. But the Spanish will straight up not promote you unless you have a Jesuit missionary uh, missionary sent to them to tell them you're a good boy. And they should feel bad, and you, that you feel bad about it. Okay, well, we'll get that done real quick. Luckily, it's right next to Trinidad, so super easy. Another 14. If we have to hire 15 at a time, we will. If we have to do this like Mountain Blade, <laughs> we will. We will do this like Mountain Blade if we have to. One recruit per settlement? Fine. If it needs to be done, it will be done. Go to Barbados real quick. Oh, we're not hated currently, correct? Still don't, still don't have a price on our head. Let's get. Barbados. Ten. Trinidad. Pick up another ten. We need to get the three hundred, so we're gonna have to do that thirty times in total. Well, fifteen ish. New governor made to Barbados. Oh, nice. Wait, a new gov... Okay, so that's kind of the funny thing, is that a new governor makes it to Barbados, and yet you still date the same governor's daughter? Question mark? Hmm. Interesting. Tavern. These boys along. Alright, let's go do the missionary run here first. We'll go from there. Daughter comes with a position. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's see here. Trade with them. We can go ahead and we can sell bit of food if we want to. We sell all of our food if we want to. One month. That's enough food. Talk to the abbot. Uh, a ship carrying refugees. Yeah, we can bring them to Trinidad. Just fine. 
Like Stannis, yeah. Oh no, how, how, oh my, jeez! <laughs> oh my, good gracious. I, I, they took Godspeed to a brand new meaning. Oh my. Yeah, some eager refugees indeed, right? Hey, here we go. And they're going to be transporting troops too. Trinidad's going to become very powerful very fast here. Yeah. Sell them for 10, buy for significant. Governor. Oh, we're with the greedy Dutch. I'll bring Im immigrants flocking to Trinidad. Yay. Please. Governor's daughter. Nope. Okay. Maybe we have to wait until we get to uh, the status point in which uh, they want to promote us. We'll get these greedy Dutch over here real quick. Hey. What are you? Stop it. Talk to the Jesuit again. Okay, we can be jump back down there. Luckily, they're not far away. Good shot. I need distance. Alright, fire. Yes. Big ol' surrender. Make a change. We grab this. Oh no, we're not at war with the English, are we? No. Not the English or the French. Alright. Let's head back down to Trinidad. And then go back to the Jesuit again. Uh, you did their job. Uh, they meant to intervene on your behalf. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. Now that we've done the job, now they'll be happy enough to probably be like, oh, wait, you actually know what? You're actually a pretty good guy. Okay, yeah, yeah. I gotcha. That makes sense. We can't just show up to a monastery and be like, hey, um, vouch for me. <laughs> what? We don't, we don't even know you. Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Vouch for me. I'm a good guy. Like, uh, what? Luckily, all repairs are covered. So now we get free repairs no matter where we go. Three upgrades is that everywhere but a Spanish port. Alright, have it. Back so soon? Not much has happened since your last visit. Ah, okay. Now I can still say some food for some earnings, at the very least, if nothing else. Uh, is there another missionary around here? I think it's the closest one, right? It's like none over here. Nearest one's going to be all the way here near San Juan. Which I guess would work because we can just go straight to San Juan, right? Yeah, so let's just go north, uh, annihilating every Dutch ship that we see on our path, on our northward uh, path here. Uh, let's go see if we can pick up some extra troops. Ah, eh, there probably aren't anyone here. Let's go and grab as many Dutch ships as we can on our northward passage here. Get up to San Juan, and then from San Juan we can go ahead and get the Jesuit to help out, yeah? They might need to be on bad terms with the faction for the Jesuits to be willing to intervene. I hope not. I don't want to have to go and do that. It ends up just being more ship battles and the like. I just want to go and finish annihilating a handful more Dutch ships and get ourselves up and over there. Because the last thing we got to do, once, once we do that, I think if we divide the spoils, we'll end up getting the three points that we need of uh, personal wealth. It's like the the last thing we need is one more rank with the Spanish. But ship combat is we're stuck in ship combat right now. Because uh, sword, our swordsmanship is poor. Now that we are a ailing forty three year old in failing health, we're, we we have to retire like unbelievably soon. Like, we can maybe make it two more years. We can maybe make it to 45. But we're we're about done. We're, we're old. I mean, ideally, we would have, like, retired, like, two, three years ago. But we're just trying to get that last bit. New governor to St. Kitts. Nice. We've got 178 crew. How many, how many troops are here at this trade post, actually? 
Oh, that's too many. I kind of hoping we can do something with that. <laughs> we can't do anything with that. You can theor theoretically pirate forever, can you? I guess you can if you just stick to ship combat. Why do you keep your crew up, though? Keeping our crew up is the issue. Left this trade post. They're happy with us still. Lost those luxuries. Don't need to go up in difficulties. True, that's true. You could play at the easier difficulties. That's a very good point. Mm. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm not surprised you're still angry at us. Uh, you want to make peace? I'm sure that's not necessary. Uh, let's go see if we can hire anyone. Uh, yeah. Nine boys, get aboard. Hey, what's going on, here? San Juan? Too special. All right, we're gonna have to go and hit up that uh, that ship. We can't we can't let them make peace. We need them and the uh, Spanish to continue to be fighting. All right, chain shot in here. Just chain shot them all the way down. I would really like a, a ship with more guns, though. A ship of the line with 40 guns would be very nice right now. A Dutch pirate hunter after us. We get this delivery ship real quick. Shouldn't be able to outrun us. No runners are fast, but should be able to outrun them. Well, we still got a bit. Chain shot in. No mayor for you, or no uh, piece reading for you. You never played it yourself, though, so you can't, uh, you can only go off of what you're reading. That makes sense. Pirate Hunter. We are a little on fire right now. Can get a little closer to him. I just lost two guns. It's bad. We're taking too much damage. This is round. Oh no. That's bad. We're gonna try and limp away. Try and limp away here. I'm worried about our ship's condition. Eight, nine. Ah, oh, jeez, they're faster than us. That's not good. At least so long as actually, let's reef the sails here. Oh, they are just hell bent on blowing us up. They don't want to actually get into close range. I was hoping we can get into range to grape, uh, not grape shot, but uh, chain shot them. But uh, they will not do that. Yeah, they're just gonna stick with round shot. Okay. We'll have to stick to round shot then. That'll at least work because they're coming to us. We should be able to get some spreads of round shot on them. Oh, we we're just barely not hitting them. At least the sun's about to set. We should be far enough away to escape. No. Or at least they hit him there. <laughs> I can't get in closer range. We can't afford to get into closer range here. I'm gonna have to shoot a little further ahead of them. That was like way too far ahead. Oh, 
kind of good. How about there? That feels pretty good. Ah, some good hits. Let's do the next day. Uh oh. I'm stalling in the wind, so that's not good. Oh, dang it, we got hit there. Well, that was just a bad shot in general. Oh, that's gonna be a good one. Oh my goodness, barely out of range. Dude. We're gonna reef our sails again, let me get a little closer. If they would stop firing. Instead, actually come in here for, uh... Oh my good gracious. If I could just get him with some chain shot. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, this is so bad. I just need to... They're just gonna break the ship. If I could just get him with chain... Yeah, they're just gonna sink us. We're gonna, we're gonna have to just head, go right at them with our with our broken sails as they try and run away. Coming in at six knots, they're moving out at four. We're coming in in a nice T shape here. Well, don't take out my sails, please. sitting duck now. Alright, we won. <laughs> now we have to go catch him, or we have to chill out and chat for the next seven, eight minutes while we wait for them to uh, limp out of our range. Alright, we're just gonna chill and chat for the next, like, 20 minutes. Maybe an hour. Who knows? <laughs> yep. <sighs> Define winning? Uh, we didn't win, we, we had a draw. Uh, actually, I guess technically we shouldn't just be sitting here. We should be trying to sweep up some of the some of the boys that have uh, fallen off the boat. Get some of our crew back here. We're moving at a, a wild speed of one knot right now. So let's go see if we can pick up anyone in the drink. Their crew count up from 103 to 104. Can we do it? All right, well, so much for that. <laughs> uh. Oh, and he's coming at us with a new pirate hunter. Well, only one thing to do. Switch to the mail runner. We gotta go by. Man, don't tell me I have to switch to the other ship. Really don't want to. It's still faster than us. Our sails still need repairs from when we tore this ship up. Come on, we just need to make it to San Juan. As soon as we make port, they don't rape, they don't chase us anymore. Holy! All right, we're far enough away. I don't think it's chasing anymore. Yeah, the friendly Jesuit monastery will go over there in a moment. San Juan, perfect. Merchants, take all these luxuries. Take all this food. Alright, repair, repair, repair. That is. Flagship. Get away. Flagship. Let's make sure we don't end up having any mistakes. San Juan. Oh, Guadalupe. All right. Guadalupe is under attack. Okay. We sell you. We sell you. Go to the tavern. Ooh, 16. All right. Okay. We're not going to be going. Well, I guess we could go over there. All right. Governor. <gasps> we did it. Oh, my goodness. We did it. We're a duke. Because he took out that mail runner. Because he took out the peace treaty. 
We managed to get 200 acres of land and uh, the final thing we needed. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it, we did it. We've done the thing. 9 out of 9, 16 to 16, 16 to 16, 10 to 10, 10 to 10, 9 to 9, 8 of 8 on everything, 21 to 24. Let's get ourselves on up and over to Barbados. And let's go and divide the loot and see just how close we are. I'm hoping we've got this. I'm hoping we've got this. We're so close. We're so close. Oh my goodness. Hey, Sinner Eyes. Thanks for the follow. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. But Sinner Eyes, you and again everyone else who's hanging out in chat right now. Since we are just about done with this game. Yeah, we only have... Uh, you only ha also have three more fame points to go. If only had three more. Yeah, I know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But um, anyone who's hanging out in chat, uh, since we are almost done with this game, quick reminder that whenever we finish games on this channel, we have votes for what game will be played next so that you guys have input on what game is played on the channel. So, pinned at the comment at the top of the chat here, there is the link to the vote that's currently active. If you're watching the VODs, you can find it on the Discord in the announcements section. Or in the About section on the Twitch channel here, there's a button that says Current Vote. Just click that guy, it'll bring you right to it. Go ahead and uh, vote. It's ranked choice, so drag and drop them in the order that you're most interested to least interested. Most interested at the top, least at bottom. Whatever's in first place, we play. Second place is guaranteed to be on the vote list next time. We have a vote for that time slot, which is Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, Thursday games. Oh, we went to Trinidad. It's totally not where I meant to go. I'm going to go Barbados. Um, and whatever's in last place is guaranteed to not be on the vote list in the next vote for it. This game actually has an ending. You always just thought it was roam free and do whatever you want. No, no, you end up retiring when you're, uh, when, once you finished everything. Done? Excellent. How's it going, Fuzzy Wuzzy? Sorry, I haven't, uh, haven't had a chance to check Discord. I have had a very busy last 24 hours. I will be checking it soon. <laughs> but I've not had a chance to check your message. No worries, Parker's. It's, uh, it's getting a little hectic over here. All right. The Barbados. Because this is where our, where our lady love is at. Just the music? Perfect. I will be listening to it for sure. Uh, so we are married to the governor's daughter. Does that come up here? Recently attacked routine. Yep. Next to 150 acres. Thank you. Darling, how wonderful to see you again. Surely you'll accompany me to the evening's grand ball. Well, absolutely. You know what? We'll do one last dance with our darling wife before we end up seeing if our guy can retire at the ripe old age of 44. The ripe old age of 44. She still looks the exact same the day we met her. Meanwhile, we look old. <laughs> we look... I, it's the salty air. We look very old for a 44-year-old. We're, we're looking like we're getting into our 50s, to be honest. All right, honey. Let's get our let's get our big old spins on. Let's get some twirls a going. All right, let's see if I can get some twirls in here. And I'm not getting a single twirl. My old age is catching up to us. You have to be more precise as you get older. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Forward. Turn. Again. One more time. Back. Turn. Forward. Okay. Back. Turning. Forward. Moving over. Spinning around. Moving over again. A spinning around. Come on. Where are my twirls? There we go. Forward. Turn. Alright, we're not doing horribly here. Man, it does freeze on the last one now. I don't know why it does that. It's a salty spray in your face. I think it is. That and all the sun. Oh yeah. We got a good little twirl on our on our lady love. Crushed it. Got any information for me? Uh it's fine. The guy is doing wrong. No big deal. Alright. 
we're going to gonna sell off as much as we can here. I think she sell all of our food. We'll keep one month of food on hand. Just in case we didn't succeed. We're going to divide the plunder. 30% Delka. We keep 30%. 60,570 coins. Everyone else gets a meager... It just gets a little meager 743. Split her up. Alright. Uh, though your health is failing, still the months pass quickly. You get bored with your life. Uh, we're going to continue. We're not going to retire yet. We're going to move up to Swashbuckler, though. We always increase in difficulty. We're going to see if we've managed to make our marks. If we did, perfect. If not, we're going to have to go and get the last bit. Status check. We are 44 years old, failing health. We have a crew that's happy, so we can do something with this. Um, We did it. We did it. Oh, we beat the game. <laughs> we did it. Oh my goodness. I honestly, when we first started playing this game, I did not expect us to actually do everything. I honestly expected us to maybe get two thirds of everything done. I'm wildly surprised that we got everything done. I'm wildly surprised we did it. How's it going, Critter? Oh, bad timing for the cap captain's log. We've beat this game. Game complete. GG. How's it going, Bluebell? No, blue belt, how you doing today? Welcome, welcome. My goodness. Uh, did you also get the 126 fame points? Yeah, achievement points right up here. Fame points, 126. Uh, the achievement and fame points are the same. Oh my goodness. Why does this remind you of Oregon Trail? Oh, you know what? Oregon Trail is a great game. I haven't played that in an age. Maybe we should put Oregon Trail on the playlist. On the list of games for us to play. Get that on the, uh, the vote list coming up another time. Yeah, we managed 100% this. So this now, this now means there have been there are two games we've actually 100%ed. Two games we've 100%ed on stream. We've 100%ed Banished, and we've now 100%ed Sid Meier Pirates. Two games we've 100%ed. Other games we get like 90-something percent done. We get like close, but not like... We're not going to turn over every single rock for every single, you know, unique bug or whatever we're looking for. But perfect. There we go. Done and done. Well, reminder for everyone who's hanging out in chat, since this game is over, there is a vote that is currently active. It's pinned in the comment above. It's also on a link on the current vote button in the uh, about section here on Twitch, as well as in the Discord. Uh, we've got on the Discord there in the announcement section. We have that there. Go ahead. It's ranked choice. Drag and drop in the order you're interested in. We'll be playing whatever game wins this on Monday because this game is for a Monday, Tuesday time slot. We still have State of Decay 2 that we're playing tomorrow and the day after. We're playing Heart, Heartland that we just started last week. So we're, we just started that campaign last week. So no idea how long that one's going to last for. But we got this one. Yeah, I should go and put Oregon Trail on on the list of games for us to play because we haven't played Oregon Trail on stream. And I haven't played Oregon Trail in a long time. Back on, you know, the good old big chunky uh, computer monitors, like the good old like CR monitors. And uh, with the, it being on a disc, on a CD. I haven't played that one in a long time. We definitely can go do that. But I think that's, I think that's that. I mean, we're a little early for the end of stream, but not by much. Definitely, there isn't really enough time for us to to really jump into anything new. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to divide the plunder again, which just gives us a free 5,000 buckarinos here. At 50%, wow, okay, so it's it goes 5, 10, 20, 30, 50. That's a huge jump. Dude, the last time you played Oregon Trail was on floppy disk. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh my goodness. No, I didn't play it on floppy disk. I, I had it on a, on an actual CD. Oh my goodness. Now I'll have to go hunt for it. I, you know, now that you mentioned Oregon Trail, I really do want to play that game. Right, let's go divide this plunder. Uh, and we're going to go and retire pirating. Um, yes, it's time. Let's, let's pop back over here. It's time. All right. Here's our full rundown on everything. You retire at the age of 44 in failing health. You take up residence in the city of Barbados with the profession of governor. Oh my goodness, I became the governor? Sick. 
You're joined by your wife, the beautiful daughter of the governor of Barbados. Uh, that's a little confusing because I'm now the governor of Barbados, so... Is she my daughter and my wife? Is she my daughter wife? I really hope not. Uh, your title of Spanish Duke makes you an influential citizen. Your accumulated wealth of, oh my goodness, 147, 422 gold pieces and one and 16,300 acres of land provide you with an extravagant lifestyle in a mansion near the city center. Vanquishing the, the evil uh, Marquis de, de la Montaban uh, remains the highlight of your, of your career. Happy, you are able to rescue all of your missing family members. Joyous family gatherings highlight your remaining years. Your bold exploits make you the first most notorious pirate in the entire Spanish main. The legend of your dazzling victories and incredible adventures grow with each passing year. Rank of Duke in Spanish, French, English, and Dutch navies. All relatives found. All lost cities found. All pirates exterminated and treasures acquired. The evil Marquis Montalban vanquished. The beautiful uh, daughter of the previous Duke, uh, the previous governor of Barbados is now ours. Fame, all ours. We've acquired, I guess these are all the, I don't know what this is all about. Oh, this is what you, this is your rank. So if you, if you fail your pickpocket, you can get a pauper, clerk, fisherman. Okay, so you slowly move up in rank. My goodness. Farmer is mid-rank? Jeez. We managed to get top rank. Interesting. The daughter of the former governor of Barbados. That's what it should be, yeah. Yeah, we did, we did everything. It's amazing. Oh, I feel so good. I love this game. This game, and it just brings you right back to the main menu. <laughs> Isn't it such a good game? See, the problem I have is that a lot of pirate games out there aren't this good. And this game is so good because of how simplistic it is. I really, really want them to take this game and just make a modern version of it. All they need to do is make the uh, the conquering forts a little bit... The, the mechanics or the conquering forts a little more RTS-y. Make that a little bit better. Be able to, like, outfit your troops with, like, different types of guns or something. Add in, like... Maybe, um, maybe you can add in, like, an additional, like, I don't know. I, I, I'm trying to think of what else to add. <laughs> I don't really know what else to add. Make that a little bit better. Maybe change the way some of the, like, trinket upgrade items work or something. Maybe, like, change those a smidgen. Um, have it so there's, like, three tiers instead of two tiers so you can go a little bit further. Make time pass a little bit slower. Uh, just so you can spend a little more time in it. Because this game only took us three streams to beat. Right? Uh, three streams? Four streams. Took us four streams to beat. So, what would that be? Five-ish hours each 20-hour gameplay? It's not that long in modern-day games. Modern-day games are more around, like, 40, 60 hours is what they're aiming for. I don't know if you could really get 60 hours of content out of this, but you can get 30 to 40. We were pretty, we were pretty focused. We were pretty, uh, pretty laser-focused on what we were doing. But I'm happy with this. this is, I had a lot of fun with this game. You don't think uh, Fraxis could do it again? I mean, it, it does. if Fraxis still owns this, um, Fraxis Games, they still own it. I mean, someone else could buy it from them, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if they'd be willing to sell it, though. But I still think that this game, this game is, remember, this game we played right now is the sequel slash remake of the original of this game right this is of the original so this is actually the remake of the original don't forget so they could just do it again it was successful when they did it the first time it could be successful a second time but all right uh that's that that's all we're doing but here all right uh, uh, that's that that's all we're oh doing. my goodness i'm right. hearing myself uh, that's, that's that. so good that's quick oh my mute myself <laughs> I went to the channel to go and uh, I, my goodness, I thought I had that muted. I went to our to our channel when I went and opened up the poll. I forgot to, it wasn't muted. I must have been quiet when I was clicking through it. That's hysterical. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, Pirates 1987. That's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the that's the one that was before this.
But that's it. We're done for today. Thanks for hanging out, everyone. I really appreciate it. I will see you all tomorrow for us to jump right back into State of Decay 2 as we're playing Heartland, which is a really fun uh, a really fun scenario that we're in right now. I'm really enjoying it so far. The story's pretty good. The base that we get to build is pretty awesome. And the extra difficulty, since we're playing on Nightmare Mode as opposed to on Dread, we were playing before, that extra challenge. As you know me, I love challenge. Right up to where I can't handle it. Right where it's just I can barely sort it out. I love that kind of challenge. But thanks for hanging out, everyone. I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good morning, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. I'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.